What is up, early gang? Early girly gang. What's good? Folks, I am beyond exhausted. Anybody else beyond exhausted? Raise of hands. Beyond it, past tired. That's where I'm at today. Me. Raise his hand. Good. We're well. We're all in good company here, then. Good company. I've got some tea started because that's just my life right now. <laughs> my life is uh, literally my life is one o'clock tea. But we do have a fun day planned. We've got some exciting stuff planned. I've got some carvable craft pumpkins. We're gonna try and make a checkpoint logo, and I don't know what else we'll make. Maybe chat will decide the other thing that we make. Um, we got some spoopy, spoopy sounds, spoopy lo-fi in the background. I've got a video to check out from Rethink UMC. Um, I tried to think of more spooky things to do, but I think we'll probably just do them throughout the season. Maybe we'll treat Variety Tuesdays as like a time where we'll we'll have something spooky for the next couple weeks um, and see what we can do. But I'm excited to be here. Excited to be here with you. Excited that you're here, my friends. Uh, I appreciate you. I appreciate you being here. And I'm looking forward. Just finished the first ever episode of season six of My Hero. Yeah, just in time for stream. Finished it up right in time. Well, good. Good, good, good. I I honestly have no idea where the anime is anymore. I know you told me the other day, and that sounded kind of familiar, but the, the manga has gotten so far ahead. It's, it's becoming closer and closer to One Piece, where it's like I can't even possibly keep up and comprehend all the different places that all the different people are. Deli Tober, Deli Tober today. I am I am participating in Ink Tober, but drawing a Deli Bird for each prompt. Today's Deli Tober was Scallop. So of course, Deli Bird took Asha Watts' scalp chop and is holding it up. I don't know exactly what. Now here, there's a couple of there's a couple of options. Okay, 
of what's happening in this image. Option one, Oshawa lost his scout shop and Deli Bird happened to have one in his Santa Claus tail. And so he's presenting the scout shop that he's about to give to Oshawa. Option two is Deli Bird is a hoarder and is taking Oshawott's scout shop and about to put it into his Santa Claus tail to give to someone else. Those are the two scenarios that are possible there. And maybe there are more that I'm not thinking of. But at least those two options exist. At the very least. Folks, I read the first chapter. I read the first chapter of Ghost Reaper Girl as per the recommendation of uh, Sneaky yesterday. Pretty good, pretty good. A little, uh, a little poltergeist, a little uh, Ghostbusters meets poltergeist meets bleach, meets its own original story, uh, but pretty good. Still weird. Look at, look at that. That was the first chapter, my dudes. Look at that. That is a, that is a, that is a honkin', a honkin' first chapter. Look at that. Wild. Ninety-one pages in the first chapter. That's a lot. Am I still reading Dan to Dan, Don to Don, however you pronounce it? Not really. I read the first couple of chapters. I'm still on board, but it's like, I just, I, I haven't had time to be completely honest. Uh, I did enjoy this little reference in uh, in Ghost Reaper Girl right here. You see the little cube up there? Little Puella Magi Modica. Little Modica reference right there at the top where um, he offers to become her manservant and to kind of make a contract together. And she imagines Cube. Cute. There's my tea. Uh, hey, Hunter fam mom, by the way, you have a new, uh, we finally made your emote. Not emote, we made your command. So exclam exclamation point you matter officially does something. spoopy at all in fact love it yes love that you love it you inspired it folks do you realize i just turned on the fan i just turned on the fan if you want to know what north carolina in the fall is like it is october the 4th this morning i went on my morning walk and i think i developed a slight case of frostbite in my ears tomorrow if i go walking and it is that cold again then i'm going to be wearing earmuffs and now I've turned on the fan because it is so hot in here. Explain that to me, North Carolina. Explain it. I was born to live in the northern part of this world, but I was born in and very close to the center of it. Turn your heater down. I guess so, if only I could. I had a hoodie on this morning. I had a hoodie on this morning and I was still cold. And now I have a short sleeve shirt on and I'm uh, burning up. I'm cooking. It's no wonder that my daughter is sick. Oh boy, oh boy. Folks, how are we doing? How, was, how did your Monday wind up treating you? Did everybody make it through Monday okay? Did we all survive Monday okay? I need to go spam general real quick and let people know we're live. At chat, we are live. Join in on some spoopy fun. We still don't have a winner, by the way. It is still a tie between Hollow Knight and a New Arrival. And I think I'm going to give, I'm going to give credence to uh, the New Arrival. I survived, but I'm resisting allergies and a migraine. I feel that. I feel that. I, You know, allergies have not been so bad for me this season, um, but my daughter, I believe, is trying to kill me. 
I'm pretty sure our, our infant is trying to end my life because she's not sleeping. She's getting sick. It's beyond her control entirely. I'm being very facetious. There is no way she has any control over it. Uh, but she is quite sick and she has not slept two nights in a row. And you boy, <clears throat> it's tired. Really got to sleep. <laughs> I've really got to sleep. I did start playing a new game yesterday. That was really fun. Have any of have, have any of you ever played Lisa? Lisa. Monday made me so salty I could de-ice roads. No! That's no good. That's no good, Sneaky. Salty is no fun. Salty is not my favorite place to be. Also, I saw maybe 30 bats claimed first. Claim first with that early girly gang first claim. Stake it. Folks that are watching the VODs, if you want to be first, you just got to be here first. Plain and simple. Plain and simple. You want first? Get here first. Easy, feasity. Lemony squeezy. I'm digging this one. <laughs> I hope all these lo-fi tunes are fine. They all look like they're by, by very small artists, so I'm really hoping that none of them are signed with uh, Warner. Gotcha fun! Oh, I gotta boot up, um, boot up my buddy here. Gotcha fun. Goku, I came from the future to help you with the gotcha. What? New version of the stream deck. Not right now, thank you. Not as of this exact moment, thank you. Remind me later. Appreciate ya. Blurry boy. Why so blurry? Get out of here. H man, a celeb reads poetry. If you could exclamation point celeb or give me a celeb that you'd like to hear an impression of, a bad impression of, and we'll make that happen for you. Do a celebrity impression here and have them read some uh, some Nor Unahar poetry. Yeah. My tea is officially ready. I need some spooky tea. Do we have any spooky tea? <laughs> I was about to say an inappropriate joke there. Just, a, just, just, just for a moment. But I decided against it. Arnold, okay. Here we go. Um, well, obviously we need some piano. And we'll come back to Halloween mo mm -mm, Peaceful piano, please. <clears throat> this is... Um, Let's see. I'm trying to find one we haven't read. That sounds good. Pockets. This is the poem Pockets by Noor Unahar from her collection, or from their collection, New Names for Lost Things, as presented by the governor, Arnold Schwarzenegger. <clears throat> My sister insists on buying clothes with pockets, a floral curtain with pockets, an oversized shirt with pockets. An overpriced chemise with pockets. I keep myself at a distance from them. I do not want more places to keep things. All of my belongings are safely packed. Everything neatly placed where it should be. Grief locked in the heart. Softness rolled under the tongue. Anger locked away in an unnamed vein. A pocket will come hungry. It will ask to be filled. I will put my phone in it. I will put some silver coins. I will put your absence in it and carry it everywhere. Again. The thing about space is, it always finds something to fill itself. Yellowing yesterdays, dying daylight, troubled tomorrows, even if they stay, even if they go. Thank you, chats in the clap. <clears throat> Thank you, Arnold. Thank you, Arnold, for presenting that poem, Pockets, by Nor Unahar, from the collection, Pockets. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's excellent, excellent, excellent vocabulary. Really worked, really worked. A lot of those lines worked excellently. Okay, back to back to spooky music. Spooktacular. Let's see if I can find it again. There we have it. 
especially on today. Yes, so the plan for today is we have a video to watch. We have two pumpkins to carve. I've never done these before. Have you ever done, has anybody ever done these craft pumpkins before? This is the first year I ever saw them. I actually saw them a couple weeks back and they had some orange ones and that was the one I would have preferred, but I went back today, they were sold out completely. I had to find these that were mixed among the de decor pumpkins, but these are indeed crafting pumpkins. And I don't know what that means. I don't know what they're made of. I don't know if they're filled with guts or with cockroaches which seems to be a living trend here at the at, at checkpoint. Um, but as I understand it, these are carvable craft pumpkins. You can hear it is definitely hollow. But I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anything else about it. Um, but I got two of them the exact same. They're both this exact same pumpkin. I figured we would do the checkpoint logo into one of them. The question is, what do we do with the second one? And the answer is, I, I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. I thought about a deli bird, but that seems especially intricate. I don't think I could do that with my skill level. I'm not totally sure I'm gonna be able to do the checkpoint logo because the thing about the checkpoint logo is there's a lot of, there's a lot of floating things in the checkpoint logo. There's, there's, a, there's a lot of, of playful, minimalistic uh, white space that's really gonna be tough, gonna be tough. And I don't know how we're gonna make it work, but we're gonna try our best. My goal is to first draw it on with pencil. And then once I've drawn it on with pencil, I will attempt to uh, find some, some connectors that'll work. And then I'll carve out that. But I have no idea if this is gonna work at all. This could be a total flop. And in some ways that's more entertaining, isn't it? Are you here for the flops? Are you here for the losses? I did get the stereotypical pumpkin masters carving kit here. The the stereotypical saws. I've actually never used them before. I have no idea if they're decent at all. I've always gone old school. We use spoons and knives. Spoons and knives. That's it. In the web household. We never had these we never had these fancy fancy pumpkin carving kits growing up. Your failure is our joy. I know. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm here. Folks, LTN Con next week. Next week. Uh, speaking of next week, uh, odds are next week is going to be, I will be streaming very little, if at all. Um, I'm not I'm not necessarily taking the week off because I'm definitely working quite a bit, but I, I have a, uh, the pastor's convocation, or not, that's not what it's called anymore. Pastor school at, at Duke Div, uh, Monday and Tuesday. And then I have to drive to Indiana on Thursday. And then I'm there through Saturday, whenever I have my brother's wedding. I'm tired already. I'm tired already. If my, if my daughter doesn't get better, I don't know what we're gonna do. I don't know, what am I, what am I gonna do? I gotta drive eight hours. I gotta drive eight hours on Thursday. I don't think I've ever driven eight hours in a row. Who's driven eight hours in a row? Or more. I've ridden it. I've definitely ridden it to Florida and stuff. Who has ever driven eight hours? What are your recommendations? I love podcasts. So obviously that'll be what I'm doing. You've done 10 hours. That's, that's your max. I've pro I'm have i going to say the longest I've ever driven one shot is probably six. So this is two hours longer than my longest drive. Used to drive an 18 wheeler. Stained, how did I never know this about you? Oh my goodness, that's so fun. Longest drive was 12 hours in a U-Haul, 16 in one day, three times in one week. Wow, that's that's too many times. Moving, mm-hmm, never shared it. No, you haven't, but that's very interesting. Have you never shared it intentionally because you didn't want us to know? Is it a, is it a, is it a scarred past one we don't like to talk about? Because that's okay if it is. But if it isn't, I'm painfully curious. Well, we're back to This is Halloween once again. Gotchapon! What's up, Zando? I wonder if her steward officer Jenny would like a Gotchapon as a gift. Delightful! How, how appropriate, huh? Beans. 
Beans, beans. Right or left, Zando? Go ahead. Right bean. All right, it is the, maybe the vomit bean? I don't know what the yellow bean is. Yellow, orange bean. Bottoms up, baby. Ugh, it's definitely gross, but I don't know what that flavor is. Ooh, 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 that aftertaste. Oh, the aftertaste. Wow, it just lingers, huh? <laughs> it's dead fish. It's dead fish. Wow. It's the, it's the, it's the after. It's, it's what remains. It smells like my cat's mouth. Any of you ever smelled cat mouth before? Don't. Wow. Wow, dude. That is atrocious. Movie, movie game. Okay. Blah. Blah, 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 blah. All right. Movie, movie game for Zando. Folks, for those who've never played this before, please let Zando answer first. If Zando doesn't get it, then it's free game. Combines two movie titles. I will be reading the description of these combined movies. Here we go. Zando, are you ready? I'll read it twice. Let's see if I would get this one. Not a chance would I get this one. Neither movie. That's a hint, I guess. <clears throat> Eccentric canine owners compete in the Mayflower Dog Competition where their pets examine the tragically complicated life and trial of Ornithal James Simpson. <clears throat> Eccentric canine owners compete in the Mayflower Dog Competition, where their pets examine the tragically complicated life and trial of Ornithal, 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 not Ornithal, Ornithal James Simpson. I wouldn't get the first one because I've never heard of this movie, and I wouldn't get the second one because I wouldn't know the full title of the movie. That's another hint. I'm accidentally giving you a ton of hints today. Will, Will Zando get, get the result? Get the will he know the movie titles? titles? The world will know no, soon, soon as he as contemplates, he contemplates his, answer. his answer. You can practically taste the tension in the air, which is a thing that people do. They taste tension in the air. Very common thing. Everybody knows it. Wow, it's a tough one. Yeah, I never would have got it. Not in a, not in a million years. Not in a million years. Sneaky, your phone does not want you to say one. Mm -mm, no way. Let's go. Let's say, you know what? While you're thinking, let's let's start penciling on this pumpkin design. What are the hints? You got it. Hint number one. <laughs> what? I guess. Okay, I guess I get this hint. Um. Heavy levy usage in this one. That's a terrible hint. That's a terrible hint. Heavy levy usage in this one. Of the, of the Eugene variety. I assume. I actually doesn't say that. I'm saying that. All right. Checkpoint logo. Let's see. Let us see. Hmm. tricky. This is very, very tricky, dude. Yeah. I mean, that's definitely it. Yeah. 
Yeah, that is, that is certainly the logo. Best in Show J. Simpson, Made in America. Best in Show J. Simpson, Made in America. Show J. Simpson story is a good guess. That's why I said I would have never got that one in a million years, dude. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just carve out the outline. I think that'll work. I think if I just carve, because then I can carve the cross out of the center, and then I can carve a nice thin line all the way around. But what I gotta consider now is how do we make sure that it still stays connected? Because this spot, see now here's the crux of the issue, right? I don't know if you guys can see this on camera. Uh, it looks like you cannot. Good, well that's good. The pencil is, is doing its job. Um, but the, there's the connection points right here. That's the crisis. So I need to do it exactly like they did it. So if I, if I say like this part, let's do a bigger chunk than that. This part right here, do not carve. This part right here, do not carve. Yeah, I think that would work. I think that would work. And I just, I carve out. Oh, no, see, no, that's not gonna work because then this will just fall right out. That won't work. I knew best in show right away, but wasn't certain because I had no idea what the second title was. Heavy Levy solidified it. Yep, 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 yep. You nailed it, my friend. How am I gonna, how am I gonna hold the whole thing in place though? Maybe if I do like corners, yeah? If I say like, don't do that. Don't do that. What's, what's tough about this is that I don't get a, a trial run, which I guess isn't exactly true. I technically have a second pumpkin, so I could do it, but yeah, yeah. I think that'll work. I think that'll work. I know you guys can't see it, or maybe you can, and the lighting's just messing on my computer. There you go, you kind of got an angle of it right there. I think that'll work. I think that'll work. Maybe. I'm nervous. I'm very scared. I'm very scared and I'm very nervous. But I guess I need to show you guys what's happening. So I'm gonna bust up a, a second camera here. Let me get this keyboard out of the way. Should I be under the art category right now? Am I an artist? You guys think I'm an artist? Are you so mistaken? <laughs> I need to go get the, the thing. Could you be as mistaken to think I'm an artist? Because you would be wrong. I'm just joshing. Anyone can and should consider themselves an artist. Okay, let's see. Let us see what we can do. Folks, it's been a crazy day, man. Okay, that is the correct code. I think that works. As long as I don't dox myself. Or show too much of my um Come on. Oh man. My 
brain can't figure out what's going on. So what I can do is I can just minimize this until I'm done. And that shouldn't reveal any information, even accidentally. Let's look at how that looks, yeah? You guys are getting a little bit inside baseball here. Kachow? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. There you go. There's the pumpkin. There's the pumpkin, Charlie Brown. We're going to get right into it. See what we can figure out here. We got to get into this pumpkin carving kit. Ooh. My main concern is there is there is a clip somewhere on the internet of me at one of our I think it was at one of our checkathons where I turn on the I turn on the camera and it is just below the belt. Un uncomfortable sight of very short shorts. And we shall not have that happening again. Okay. So let's see how do these little tools work, huh? How do these little tools work? Do they just jab right on in? I'm not familiar. Again, I, I, I've mentioned this once already, but I'm very much more familiar with uh, good old school knives. And Now, what is this? What is this device right here? Hmm? You know what this is? Is this for beginning? Is this the first thing that you do? Do you, do you create a line for yourself? What's to stop me from just from just doing the thing? Why not just do the thing? Hmm? Hmm. This all just makes me very nervous. Okay, okay. We're through. We've done it. Let's take let's take a shorter one. We'll have a little bit more to work with here. It's like paper. It's like cardboard. That's what it feels like. It reminds me of cardboard. Okay. Hope you'll have <laughs> Yeah, so funny story about that. I actually don't own a pocket knife because I'm scared of them. Because I was in the Boy Scouts for all of like a season. I think I was in it for like four months. Because I got a pocket knife and it was a multi-use tool, of course. And one of the tools, <laughs> this is embarrassing, you guys. I'm telling you, this is embarrassing. Uh, one of the tools was a uh, bottle opener which of course made sense for a seven-year-old to have. I opened a lot of bottles as a seven-year-old. And um, I was showing it off to my buddy Kyle, which of course, why wouldn't their name be Kyle in this story? And I proceeded to close the bottle opener on my thumb. I wonder if you can still see it. Let's see if I can get it in focus. Maybe I'll get out of the screen. Can you see? Ba, ba, ba. Maybe. It might show up on camera. But there's a there is a little wound right there that looks like a little upside down U, a little in. Right there on my thumb. Slice it open good. And I did I did not I have not owned a pocket knife since. I've had I've had the occasional pocket knife, but I am quite I'm quite scared of them. It's not something like you know there are those people. Maybe you're one of those people who just carries a pocket knife around with you everywhere you go. Not me. Not me. No thanks. They are handy to have if you're like doing something. If you're like outside. But I, it turns out I've rarely needed a pocket knife for playing video games. This thing is making a mess. I almost would have preferred a real pumpkin at this point. You guys can kind of see see what I'm working with here. Starting the outline of a cross. It looks very good and very symmetrical and very normal. And there's nothing concerning about it in the slightest. 
I definitely shouldn't have gotten out a ruler. Or gone to art school. None of those things were necessary for what I'm working on here. I don't even have any band-aids in this church. I don't have a first aid kit here. We do not abide by safe sanctuary. All of our safe sanctuary rules are related to our Discord. None of them relate to the building. So I probably need to go buy a first aid kit after this. Because I've honestly never even considered it. Not me, my life has been curated to not involve the need for a non-food knife. I agree. I agree. Why would I need one? What do I have? What am I, what am I doing? What am I doing that is in need of a knife? Ever. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know how well this toolkit is working out. It's almost like it only cost me $3. It's almost like a knife that costs $3 isn't worth much. Almost like that. Like, notice I said almost. It's not exactly like that. It's just, it's very similar to it. This is looking so, uh, so very symmetrical and picture perfect, right? I figured I would start from the inside. You know what I mean? Start with the cross, then do the rest of the show. Oh yeah, a nice curved line. I couldn't have compassed out that line. Oh, this is filthy. This is absolutely filthy. Oh no, where's everybody going? <laughs> Get back to playing the games! Play the video games again, funny guy! Where are the video games at, video game boy? I don't want to see none of this carving nonsense. I'm gonna go watch Ninja. He's streaming everywhere. There you go. There's there's the lopsided cross. When I survey the lopsided cross. And now we know what the inside looks like. So it is... Yeah, I don't even know. It looks like poster board now. I'm going to go with poster board. <laughs> that was a poor decision. Poor decision on my part there. There you go. It's the start. It's the start of something. This is the start of something. This is the start of a thing that's gonna look like a thing. You can't deny that. You can't deny it's gonna look just exactly like a thing. Okay, now we need to make a slight curve, not a big one. And hopefully somewhat symmetrical. This was just penciled, so really I have no huge expectations here. Now this this one has got a, a, a girthier handle, so I'm hoping maybe there will be some some kind of oh yeah. That's where the that's the magic right there. See now this one's cutting through so much cleaner. I'm shaking the camera. I'm literally shaking the whole camera. Not going up much. I'm gonna make this line real shallow. And that's plenty. That is plenty. Whoopsie. Any big plans for the week, anybody? Do you still, does do any of you, I mean, I know some of you have kids. Do you still do pumpkins? Is that still a thing? 
We're actually having trouble this year. We want to really take our daughter and do something because she's obsessed with Halloween. The older one. And um, we can't find one. We cannot find a trunk or treat or anything near us. Mind boggling. My week is full with too many non fun things. I feel that. Ah! Nice, dude! Nice, dead! Dead out, uh, yeah! Nailed it, man! Very cool! Looks just like a line. It's actually a little, like, weird. I went, I went, like, at an angle as I was carving it. I almost need a little scooper. Okay. Okay, we're working with something. Look, we're working with something here! We're working! We're working! We're making it happen. We're, we're creating something amazing. We're creating something amazing here, okay? Truthfully. Slowly but surely, it's a process. Absolutely a process. Now I gotta make it all the way down to this. That's gonna be a tricky one. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna I'm gonna make myself some guiding lines here. Shoo! We're just gonna hope for the best with this one. Doing the first time doing a curve. And that's pretty much a straight shot there. We did pumpkins last year, but the pumpkins molded so fast in the heat, decided that was our last year doing pumpkins. Well, hey, I got news for you. Craft pumpkins. Big brain, big brain time. Whoever came up with this is a genius. I had no idea this was even a thing. I've never seen these before in my entire life. Watch, somebody's gonna, somebody's gonna be watching the VOD or something and they're gonna be like, I've done craft pumpkins every year since 1937. Crab pumpkins are not new. Maybe you should educate yourself. Okay, I'm gonna get off the table because I'm I'm not I'm not I'm not a fan of the fact that it's like shaking everything. It's weird that it's going at an angle. I know this song. Crab Pumpkin is not orange only because I couldn't find them. I found them the other day. They exist. They exist, I just couldn't find them. They definitely exist. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I got bad news. I got bad news. I got real bad news, folks. It, did, it didn't work. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. My, my perfect line. Okay, I think I got that one. Did you see they updated the art of the Pokemon Go leaders? I did, and I don't like it. I don't like it. Mine's a nerd now. Ugh, nerds. The worst, dude. Nobody likes nerds. Oh, dear. It's fixable. It's fixable. It's just going to take some real work. Look at, look at this. Look at this. Look at this paper mache all over the place, man. I feel like I've been working in the attic. Where there's paper mache. <laughs> can you guys tell? Can you guys tell I, I'm a man of the house? <laughs> All that paper mache in my attic. 
Classic, man. I'll never forget that episode of, of, <laughs> of Home Improvement where Tim Allen talked about all that paper mache in the attic. Real man's man, that guy. This is tough! See, now what's tricky now is going to be getting the line just right because now I've already messed up the line once. I almost feel like I should just, uh-oh. I almost feel like I should just eyeballed it at this point, in all honesty. Sweet mercy! A good old school, a good old school knife into a pumpkin is way easier than this, by the way. Filled with the Holy Spirit. Filled with the rock. Why can't it be both, Zando? <laughs> My eyes! My eyes! The fiberglass! We're getting, we're getting a shape. We're getting a little bit of a shape here. and I don't like messes. I'm gonna have to vacuum. Okay. So now we got a really tricky part where we really only have a tiny little square to cut out. But we've almost got the whole of our shape. We're making headway. Oh no, I'm wrong. Oh no, I'm wrong. Oh, fooey. Okay, well now I see what I've done at least. Um, so what I was supposed to do was go all the way to these little holes. Cause I'm recreating that behind me. Rats. Okay, that's fine. Back at it. This is starting to break by the way, which is not swell. I'm gonna move on to the next size down just to Hopefully save us some save us some of that the the real the real juice that we need there. Come on. I guarantee you this looks easier than it is. Yes, 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 yes. That's what I was supposed to do. So now it goes a little bit further down. Nate, what is that pumpkin made out of? It is, I don't know. I don't know. It kind of reminds me of poster board. That's the closest thing I can think of is poster board. It does have a very strange odor. Smells like glue and horse hooves. Recommend a respirator. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Probably a good call. But we're too far in now. I can't do that. I gotta, I gotta, you guys gotta see the pumpkin here.
Okay, the point of the checkpoint is not going to be quite as pronounced as it ought. I'm afraid. Oh! Foamed polystyrene. Well, I know what that is. I know. I, let me tell you, I know all about polystyrene. Polystyrene. Polystyrene? Rinse my mouth out with it every night, dude. Can't get enough of this stuff. Okay, so now we gotta go down just a smidge. Just the smallest smidge. Yep. I went down a little too far on that end. A little too far on that end, we'll be fine. We'll deal, don't worry. Don't worry about us. I said, don't worry. Said, stop worrying. I can feel the worry. Here we go. Look, we're look, we're taking shape. We're taking shape, people. It's practically a checkpoint already. All right. There's all these all this polylysterine all over the floor. A sprayable molding compound that's basically really dense styrofoam. Is it like, uh, is it like, uh, what's the, what's, what should we call it? The, uh, the foaming insulation. Is this fiberglass? Am I filling my lungs with fiberglass? There you go. We're, we're, we're continuing on with the shapes. Now I've got to, I've got to create this shape on this side. Easier said than done. Way easier said than done. Really just got to trust the process here. Really got to trust the process. And just hope, just hope for the best. It might be a little wabi-sabi, folks, okay? No, not an ad! Well, that's a bummer because Tuesdays are my kerosene huffing days, maybe 30 bats. This is not going to work. This isn't going to lie with my schedule. It's already on my calendar. Who's going to fix this? Hmm? Who's going to fix this? All right. I'm dealing with me. I can't catch All right, off we go to the races. Moment of truth, really. Okay, now we gotta make a turn. Uh, maybe 30 bats, if it was not you that sent it to me, um, there's a great bit of somebody using the She-Hulk filter on a guy, and he does the Grinch impression. It's really, it's, it's a solid impression. That sounds like one you would have sent me if you didn't. So I think you'd be down, you'd be down to see it. For those of you that aren't friends with bats on TikTok, you don't know the glory of having your own, your own personally curated TikTok feed. I have TikTok, and then I have maybe 30 bats as TikTok. They're very different.
Sabi Sabi nothing, baby. That's perfect. Back off, dude. That's perfect. You don't even you don't even know what I got, dude. You don't even know my symmetry, baby. Alright, all we need now is a little halo. And then we're done. Then we've done it. Look at it! Alright. This is the hardest part if we're being totally honest with ourselves. So I really shouldn't have bragged too big. Because now we're getting to the real challenge of this of the situation. Where we've got to create this little halo around the bottom of the thing. And I'm gonna I'm gonna brush myself off from all of this listerine. Orbit white. Try and get it out of my chair. Nobody tell Secret Lab about this, dude. Don't you tell him. Don't rattle. Oh my goodness. I mean, I'm just covered. I'm covered. Okay, what we're gonna do, same thing we have been doing. We're gonna make one piece of the line. Then we're gonna worry about the rest of the story. The question is, do we wanna do the inside or the outside? I would think, I wanna think the inside. You do have a pretty perfect example of how to do that with the neon sign. Yes, that is how I'm doing it. I'm doing it exactly like that. However, just because it's perfect doesn't mean it's easy. Okay, I got a bubble in my throat and I don't know what to do with it. <clears throat> yeah, we're gonna start with the we're gonna start with the the little one. What's up, Yeet? How we doing, my friend? An acquired taste. No, this is certainly not an acquired taste. It's an excellent taste. Okay, now the trick now is that I really don't want to break the rest of the thing, which is what's already ding a dang happening. Okay, so that didn't work. Just kind of guide myself across, yeah? I think that's going to be for the best. Doing okay. We're glad you're here, Yeet. Welcome in. Welcome in. Welcome in. I don't know if Stain's been lurking on the Discord or not, but we I learned today that Yeet met one of our celebrities, Stain. Although Stain's also meeting celebrities, spending all this time with Jason Moore. Y'all are gonna make me jealous, dude. Yeet's meeting Nona. You got to meet Nona Jones. Stains meeting Jason. Playing D and D with Derek. Tearing on my heartstrings, dude. Yep, Nona Jones. The one and only. Nona's great. Come on, please don't break. Please don't break. We've made it so far. We've come so far. What am I doing? I'm making a check pumpkin. Look at that. That's beautiful. Uh, I'm making a check pumpkin here, and uh, we'll see. We'll see how it all turns out when all is said and done. The cross could be better. The cross could, could be. You know what? You know what though? The cross could be better. The cross is perfect, and the cross is broken. Okay. Welcome to check my church. Oh boy, I am giving myself black lung. It is it is an issue, it is a crisis. It's where we find ourselves. It's what we're dealing with. We're surviving, okay? We're surviving. We're thriving, we're surviving. It's almost taken an hour. This little project that was originally, I was like, it'll take 30 minutes to stream. Mm -mm. Nope, nope. Nearly an hour later. This could have been a checkathon special at this point, dude. What, did you clip my little mega church sermonette there? I didn't, but I should. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, this is very bad! I got off the line! 
I got off the line somewhere along the way. Oh no, dude. No, look, I got off the line. It was perfect. It's because of my braggadociousness, dude. I was bragging beforehand and I, I shot myself in the foot. This is what I get. This is what I get for my braggadocio, dude. This is why you don't braggadocio. Let's see. The TikTok algorithm is hilarious to me. They are thoroughly convinced that I am half black, half Japanese, deaf, Jewish, Scottish, lesbian, with a, lot, a strong interest in LARP, foraging, woodworking, resin casting, and extreme bodybuilding who vacations in Australia. Sounds like you. You, you just described yourself. Speaking of which, I wish I had time to edit those short form vids for you. You're all good, my friend. I, what I Here's the thing. Here's the thing about all that, okay? I want to see it as an opportunity for people that do have the time and those gifts together. They have to have the gifts and they have to have the time, right? Because if they don't have the gifts, they're not going to want to do it. If they don't have the time, they're not going to be able to do it. And so I, wanna, I want people to feel like they are needed and vital because they are. And I want them to know that their, their skills are affirmed. Their creativity is affirmed in this place. That's tough to find. And it's tough to arrange. So that's why I'm doing it the way I'm doing it right now, which is very freelance. I know you want to, but just can't. Well, maybe you'll eventually be able to. Maybe eventually it'll open up. Or maybe not, and that's okay. Folks, we're nearly there. We've almost done it. Needless to say, I will not be doing two pumpkins, as was once posited. That shall not be the case. Maybe we'll do another pumpkin, another stream. But it simply is not doable today. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> A little off kilter. Here comes the Wabi Sabi. Are you ready? Is everybody ready for the grand reveal? Can we get a big countdown? Let's get a, let's get a drum roll, please. Ba -da 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 the checkpoint pumpkin. The check pumpkin lives. Look at it. Wow. Okay, here's here's this one, the real logo. This one, the real one. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Ooh, ooh. This is what we call wobbly sobby. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Come on, come on. Let the magic happen. I can't stay still enough. Yes. It is the wobbly sabi, the wobbly sabi pumpkin. Done did it. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Wow, dude. Wow, dude. Look at that, dude. Come on now, dude. Yes. Let's see if I have a tea light. I think I know where one is. Let's go get a tea light. And a vacuum cleaner. There's no way to put the tea light in, though, is the issue. Uh-oh. <laughs> yes! The Czech pumpkin! It's gorgeous! It's positively breathtaking. My goodness gracious. Look at it, it's gorgeous.
Chats in the clap for the Czech pumpkin, dude. Someone clip him vacuuming and sell on the internet. There's a market. Yeah. Man vacuums for three minutes. All right, now I need my phone back. Stop preview. Close. Nice. Feels good, man. All right. Now then. We've got a video to watch really quickly, and then we're going to see what we're doing. I, I, I think we're playing a new game. I think we're going to start a new game for the back the back nine. The back hour and a half of a stream. Uh, so this video is from Rethink Church. Uh, for those of you that missed out on the on my my the back nine for my my teasing and my hesitance of telling you about our secret our super top secret project. Uh, some of you may remember whenever a friend of the community, Caleb Pitkin, um, made some videos with Rethink Church about his um, work in the kiln and his work for a, uh, as a real life blacksmith. This is our project with Rethink Church on video games and gaming and on game culture with the United Methodist Church. So we're going to watch the first. This is a, a four part series, but the first one dropped today. And I would encourage you to go to Facebook where it is currently and share it. I will be sure to share all this stuff in our Discord. And whenever it airs on YouTube, I'll make sure to share it over there as well. Um, this one. All right, let's watch it together, yeah? Enjoy the show. You've heard it said that video games are all gore, violence, and guns. But I say to you, it's about the people you meet along the way. I'm Nathan Webb, the pastor of Checkpoint Church, an online community for nerds, geeks, and gamers. A quick parable. A human falls into the underground, a fantastic land of monsters and things that go bump in the night. Except these monsters, they don't want to fight. They want to be friends. They want to talk and learn and grow and get to know the human. In fact, they're more afraid of the human than the human is of them. In one reality, the human loves and makes friends and rescues them from their prison underground. In the other reality, there's a genocide and all are destroyed. What if the kingdom of heaven is like a choice between knowing the good and knowing the bad and picking your path along the way? When I first planted a church among the nerds, geeks, and gamers, I had my own presuppositions about how things were going to go. I love the game Undertale, the one I just described, and I wanted to share that with people so that they could hear the story. I wanted to use that story to tell the greatest story ever told. But this plan of mine was short-sighted. The path was already being paved before I ever showed up. I quickly discovered that God was already doing something else among the nerds, geeks, and gamers. I discovered another world. I discovered a place called Twitch. I thought I would have to seek out the nerd. I thought I would have to invite them into my church building. Instead, I discovered that they already had one of their own. They were on Twitch, and they were there way more than just one hour on Sunday morning. They were on Twitch for hours each day, hopping into one chat box after another, connecting, growing deeper with one another. Christian or not, Community was being done in ways I'd never seen before. They had their own language, their own culture, their own habits and tendencies. I saw deeper connections than I'd ever seen in the church. I'd found the promised land. I started to connect and enter into that space on Twitch. I got to know faces and voices and text speak. I learned cultures and emotes and pog champs. I learned that God really did have something greater in store here. What started with a vision of a weekly hour-long Bible study on a video game turned into the prophetic discovery of a community. I was thinking within the parameters that I knew, but the internet was offering a new way to connect. A community that was vibrant and active, 24-7 growth in relationships, like the church I'd only been able to dream about. Let us consider how we may spur one another onwards towards good deeds and love, 
Let us not give up meeting together as the established church has the habit of doing, but instead meet more than anyone has in a church building in decades. Let us encourage one another with emotes, cheers, and pog use. Let us spam the chat. Let us encourage and love and shout, let's go at the top of our lungs at the excitement and the goodness of that which is happening together in community playing video games online. Another parable, a human falls underground, called by God to do so. He's fallen to a fantasy land filled with monsters, trolls, and things that scare the physical church. He sees before himself two opportunities, one that's been done before, another that is new. The monsters of the internet don't want to hurt him. In fact, they're more scared of him than he is of them. In one reality, the human continues to do more of the same, planting another church of a traditional background, singing praise music in a building with light and fog. In another reality, the human chooses to be friends and discovers that no one needs rescuing. They just need a place to be welcomed. Which would he choose? The kingdom of heaven is like a choice, a choice between knowing the good and the bad and which path you will take. But the princess is not in another castle. People are waiting right here, looking for someone to love them, to teach them, and to help them unite. Gore, violence, and guns, sure, you can find them if you look on the surface. But look a little deeper, and what you'll find is people that are waiting to be found. Beating, loving hearts of the nerd, geek, and gamer waiting for a connection. There you go. So this is uh, official media put out by the United Methodist Church. There is officially something out there that says Pog U that is from the mainline tradition of the United Methodist Church. How about that? There's mention of Pog Champs in the United Methodist Church officially. So if you find it in your heart, if you support what we do here at Checkpoint, go uh, follow, like and follow either our Checkpoint page or like and follow the Rethink Church page and share that video for me. So we can get that scene and let people know that nerds, geeks, and gamers deserve the love of Jesus just as much as anyone else. So there we go. I'll watch those as they air. I don't know. I think they're probably going to be weekly. I think I would predict that. If Guish were here, I would ask Guish. Uh, but I, I, my guess is that they're going to be weekly. So pretty hype. Pretty hype indeed. Weekly for how long? There are four videos. They're all about the same length, all about five minutes. Um, and they all kind of dive into different areas of, of nerddom. This one was kind of my video game specific one. Four weeks, because there are four of them. All right, we need a spinning wheel because we're playing a new game, but we don't know what game yet. Oh, it still has the games on here. A winning wheel. How about that? It still has a game on here. That's super cool. It just saved it. All right, let's see if I still got all of them. I need to take this one off. Uh, I don't own that game yet. This game needs to be added. Doodle request. I haven't missed it. Looks like the new game in Hollow Knight. Yep, I'm giving credence to a new game. Unless we can get another vote for Hollow Knight. But really not even then, because I've already kind of called it. All right, this is it. One sec phone call, all good. Oh, I've been wanting to play this game. Obviously, I've been wanting to play all of these games, so dumb thing to say, Nathan. Um, but yeah, I've been wanting to play this one for a long time. I'm very excited to learn more about it. This is on Game Pass. Uh, it is called, it is a demo for Little Witch in the Woods. And it has been on my horizon for quite a while. Little Witch in the Woods. I love the art so much. Still not on how long to beat. I don't know how long it is of a game, how long the demo is. 
But I love the art. I love the style. As I understand it, it's a it's a it's a sim. And you guys know how I feel about Sims. Right, let's pause Spoofy. I assume it's gonna go full screen. We won't know till we know, I suppose. Very appropriate for Spoopy time, though. Very appropriate game for Spoopy. Don't you think? Little witch in the woods. Ba boop, ba boop, ba boop, ba boop, ba boop, ba boop, ba boop. Ba boop. Ba oh, hang on. Yes, always, always Xbox Live. I don't know what Xbox Live gets confused about what what would make me say yes to one game and no to another. Oh, and the doodle request whenever Yeet gets back, I guess. It's not connecting the full screen. There we go. I guess that means I need to go. I need to go invisible. We're gonna take me down to ninety. Yeah. That feels adequate. Oh no, don't tell me it's not connected to controller. No. Not unoptimized. Oh, it is, totally. Yes, thank goodness. Okay. Choo choo. I did make another cup of tea while you guys were watching the uh, rethink video. I need to get out my doodle pad before he comes back. I wonder where the carrot was. You're still, oh, you're still thinking about that? We found everything except the carrot. I think it's good that we never found the carrot. There was something off about that legendary carrot soup recipe. I just realized we never checked the men's restroom. Yes, there are just some lines you don't cross. We searched the whole school, save for that place, but we never found the carrot. That means the carrot was in the men's restroom. A carrot in the men's restroom? What an odd sense of humor. I should write Jenny a letter asking her to look through the men's restroom. Can't you ask Will instead? It's the men's restroom after all. Nope. That coward finds it. He'll take it to the teacher bawling like before. Keep in mind that if it weren't for Will, you'd be in jail right now. We're really in media rest. Huh? I have no idea who anything, anything they're talking about right now. Or six feet under. Ugh, I'm so bored. It's a flashback. Flashbacks are supposed to be boring. I see why no one else wants to ride this god-awful train. It's boring enough to drive anyone insane. Hey, a ticket for this train costs 500 pies. And it's stop the witch's house in Highland, where all roads lead to. Your second place at the school for witches. Whatever. I don't care about any of that. How am I second place anyway? I even sneaked into the forbidden room twice. Three times. I even looked through the forbidden books in the hidden library in the school basement. I still remember that horned rabbit that, that was as big as a house. No wonder Will started crying. So how did I manage second place? I simply didn't want to lose. Cut it out and sit quietly. This is a train only for those who want to succeed. The witch's house might be dark and damp, but it's only three years of your life. Fine, fine enough with the lecture. As a matter of fact, I'm disturbed with the thought of taking off my shoes when I get off the train. Shoes? For what? I wonder what kind of trouble you'll get into when we arrive. I won't. I won't fool around the moment I get there. I didn't know you had self-awareness. Don't you know about the terrible city of rules that is Highland? The first thing to do is to take your shoes off as soon as you get off the train. This is my first time hearing something like that. I heard that Jenny's older sister was wearing strappy boots when she first arrived at Highland. So she almost couldn't get off because she had to unstrap them completely. See, Mom bought me sho new shoes as well. Uh, didn't Aria just mean to encourage you? No, Dad also did that. Did say that comfortable boots would be better. That's strange. It's true. I'll also ask other people if you don't believe me. Place up boots. Hello, Mr. Bartender. Hey, want a drink? No, I don't think- I, I don't drink alcohol. Do you have any tea? How old is she? I, I couldn't even possibly fathom a guess. 
Of course. Then I'll have a cup of that. The tea has alcohol, though. What? Tea has alcohol? What? Is that okay? Then that's just alcohol. Alcohol with tea. Potato, potato. Then can I ask you a question instead of a drink? Anytime. Keyword questions. What's up? Neat. About the boots. Can I take a look at your shoes? My shoes? What for? From what I've heard, you have to take your shoes off before you step foot onto Hylian Station. You work at the train, so you know what I'm talking about, right? Oh, that story. Absolutely. Plenty of confused passengers who were all dressed up for Hylian. If you're wearing shoes of that sort, I'd advise you to untie them in advance. Oh, he who reaches Hylian, look first upon thy shoes, or so that's how the saying goes. See, Virgil, I was right. The preppy boots Mom gave me as a present tell me just as much. Those are some nice boots. Right? My mom brought them for me when she found out I was graduating magna cum laude. It sure is amazing. I forgot his voice. You're going to keep up with that attitude of yours? There's a lot of talking. There's a lot of talking. I just want to play the sim. Hey, hell, if you're in the two of you speak, I have a feeling being bold, um, being bold won't be an issue. Nope. It's so boring. Aren't you bored, Mr. Bartender? I've gotten used to it. But it's certainly gotten less boring thanks to you and your hat. You've been listening? Other guests would have heard about your arson at the School for Witches by now. I didn't set it on fire! Really? Uh, sure, there was a fire, but that was because I shook a potion five times and made it explode. Potions must be shaken three times only. Even a non-witch like me knows that. Exactly! How can you not try shaking it four times, having heard that? But you said you shook it five. Nothing happened on the fourth time. An inquisitive mind, you've already got the makings of a fine witch. Thanks for the praise. I don't think he was praising you. I should be on my way then. All right, have a fun trip. You can't act like a country bumpkin once you're in the city, got it? You're not going to ask just one person, are you? Why? One is never enough, you know. Even the greatest detectives never reach a conclusion based on a single piece of evidence. Hmm, you have a point. Neat. I got to ask the sloth? Okay, let's find the sloth. Doop -a -doop -a -doop. Oh, you're not a sloth. You're like an otter. Up ahead is the engine room. I'd like to know about lace-up boots. Oh, we don't check the passengers' outfits. Even if you don't check, it's inconvenient to get off if you wear strappy boots. There are so many different types of clothing that cause discomfort, I can't define them all. Then what about having a hard time taking off your shoes when you get off? Delays occur once in a while due to their shoes, but again, it's not regulated. I guess there's no fine. Isn't it a matter of harming social reputation rather than the fine? Is that so? Up ahead is the engine room. All right, so is that it? There's one more mystery person. Is it you? Oh my. <laughs> I didn't know this was that kind of game. Hang on a second. Oh my goodness. B stars all of a sudden. Oh, hello. Am I disturbing you? Negative. What's the issue? Oh, I want to ask you about something. You're on the way to Hylian, right? Correct. Um. What's the matter? Oh, it's just that you have a very blunt way of speaking. Oh my. Old habits die hard, especially when one is deep in thought. You sound like the janitor from my school. Well, I used to be a soldier. So, what brings you here? Speak. Boots! Before that... What? You've been staring at my feet for a while. Is there some kind of problem? Oh, I was going to ask anyway. Is it uncomfortable to wear such strappy boots? It takes some time to put them on and take them off, but I'm used to it. Then it'd be easy, or then it'd be hard for you when you arrive at Hylian. What? What are you talking about? Just got a job interview! Yay! Chats in the clap for Yeet! Rock on for Thursday. That's so soon. Congratulations, Yeet. Woot woot indeed. I mean, you have to take your shoes off when you get off. What? 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 Huh? Oh, you were kidding? I'm sorry. I'm rather dull when it comes to things like this. Jenny! Mr. Bartender! The mystery has been solved. What was his voice? <laughs> was that his voice? Did I make some kind of mistake? No, no, I just realized I was deceived. Come to think of it, I remember now. It's a joke to make fun of people who visit Hylian for the first time. Stop, you don't have to kill me twice by giving me that much detail. Sorry I kind of bailed. I'm trying to make finding a job a priority. Please do not apologize for finding a job. <laughs> you are just fine. I'm sorry. Are you holding back laughter? No, I'm not. He's trying so he's trying so hard to be considerate if you don't ask twice. Virgil, I hate you even more now. You don't need to be too upset. When I went there for the first time in the past, I also tri I was also tricked by a colleague and took them off. 
That doesn't come for me at all. I'm sorry. How do you feel? Can I still make that doodle request? Of course. You let me know what it is. Why are you asking me that? Your molas might fall out. Relax a bit and tell me. I can't believe Jenny deceived me. There's a reason why she's your friend. Now, go back to your seat quietly and wait until we've arrived. We still have uh, three more days to go. Three more days? That's as terrible as the smell of spotted shiitake mushrooms. Oh, there's a time up at the top. Sure enough. That's enough. That's enough. I just want to get there. That's enough. That was so much longer of a sentence than we needed. What is this over here? Return to your seat. Was this my seat? Was this my seat? Was this my seat? Timo and Brom yelling. Who's Brom? All right, now have some patience and stay seated. Ugh. All right, I got to look up Brom because I have no idea who that is. Might as well look up Timo while I'm at it. Ah, yes, Brahm and his zero distinguishing features. Except for his mustache. Okay. Let's make it happen. Ah! Ah! So much in the way! So much in the way! This pumpkin has caused a lot of disarray over here on my desk. Okay, Google, set a 90 second timer. Okay, let's start with Checky. Checky's gonna be in the center, simply unaware of everything going on around it, happy as could be. And then we're gonna have Timo in the background who has his hat on and his goggles and his ears and he's mad. He's fussing, and he's like, come on, what are you doing? He's real upset. Uh, yep, that's Timo, all right. And now I gotta draw Brom, too. Let's see if I can find him. 44 seconds, that's not a lot of time. Brom has a T-body. He's gonna be a real, a real, a real big guy. He's gonna have his hands on his on his hips. He's upset. He's real mad. And he's got his handlebar mustache. That is, again, his one defining characteristic that I see off the bat. And big old bushy eyebrows. He's upset as well. He looks like Mr. Monopoly here. He's got some kind of like necklace on, and then this huge, this huge bull thing. That's all I got. That's all the time I got. I didn't get to finish Brom. I didn't get to finish Brom. But there you go. There's Timo. Timo and Brom yelling at Checky. That's as good as it's going to get. In 90 seconds, that's all you get. I'm bored. Hang on, I need, I need this, then I need this. But you just sat down. This is torture. Stare out the window if you're so bored. Yeah, look outside. Look at that mountain. It must be hiding a cave with strange pillars and statues and a door. Sounds like the prologue of a terrible story where you awaken a terrible demon. Another job interview. Congratulations, Yeet. Wait, hold on, Virgil. Shut up and look out the window at the summit of the mountain. There's a gigantic shining tree at the top. A gigantic shining tree? Why is it shining? Does it have luminous flowers? It must be beautiful up close. Give it up. This train won't stop for two days. <sighs> I want to get out now. I hope we crash. Bad chance of that happening, so just stay bored. After all, you signed up for three years of even more boredom. Aren't there any... I don't know that word. Nope. What about boa constrictors? This isn't a jungle. Train robbers? This isn't the Wild West. It's a healing game, remember? Yeah, you already got it. You got it. I did it while you were on your phone call. Do -do 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 -do. That was all that I had time for. 
The 90 seconds ran out as I was drawing Braum, so his legs are, are he, he skipped leg day. There you go. Chath and the clamp. Boa Constrictor, the correct line is, what's going on? There's no station here. Why are we stopping? I'm not sure. Maybe there's something wrong with the train. I doubt it's a Boa Constrictor, though. I don't care if it's not a Boa Constrictor. Please just say there's some massively critical issue. Please, please, please. Can you drop that in the Discord, sir? We apologize for the inconvenience. A critical issue, perhaps? The train cannot continue its journey due to a critical issue. Yes! Attention, the train will stop until tomorrow morning and the departure time, can we go outside? Will likely be announced tomorrow. We will depart immediately if possible. Okay, I'll be back in a bit. In the meantime, please avoid wandering too far from the train. Let's go. I'm not sure if you remember, but of course I remember the shining tree is at the peak. No, not that. We have to get back by tomorrow morning. Then we should get going. Yeah. Wow, it's so dark. If you're scared, we can go back on the train. I love it! Let's hurry. Okay, open the memo board and close the memo board. Neat. Oh, there's the guy. Sorry, you can't go beyond here. Why did the train stop? There's something in the train's path. We're working on getting rid of whatever's in the way. Something in our way. Is it a boa constrictor? A boa constrictor? No, it's a prickly vine. Yes, a prickly vine? Yes, a prickly vine. We can't seem to cut it down with a regular axe, but we're doing our best. We've contacted the witches, so I'm sure they'll be here your help in no time. Can I take a look? I happen to be a witch. You're our passenger. It's our responsibility to make sure you're safe. We'll take care of it. Please be patient. Can I just take a peek? I'm sorry. Saved. It's a hill. It won't be easy to climb. Look over there. There are vines hanging on the hill. I'll be able to climb that much. That's bad news. Neat. It's a secret passageway, Virgil. I don't think it's a secret or a passageway. I bet there's a path beyond here. What's this? Looks like little honey pumpkin. What's that? It's a type of weed that grows in forested areas. The vines grow so fast that you can never get rid of them by hand. You must find the nucleus hidden somewhere to get rid of it. Then I guess we can also get rid of this if we find the nucleus. Or just return to the train quietly. That can't happen. Let's go look for the nucleus. It must be nearby. Since the nucleus gives off light when you touch the vine, you'll be able to find it. Sure enough. It's a good rhythm. Great, it's time to explore. Please don't use that word, explore. That word gives me anxiety, no thanks to your mother. Sprint. Nice. Stamina meter. What's in here? Shining tree is at the peak of the mountain, so go quick, go quick if you want to see it. We must return to the train by tomorrow morning. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I don't want to play the game. What I would like to do is play the game, actually. Actually, what I would like to do is, in fact, play the game. A mountain! That's a bad thing, right? I always hated mountains. My leather gets worn out from all the wind. Ooh, a key. Why are there so many things blocking the path? This must be a secret, a forest of many secrets. What's this? Looks like a barrier made with a witch pattern. Witch pattern? Is there a witch here? There was, or do you know how it works? School hammering into my head. Shouldn't be an issue as long as it's drawn well. Yay, the tree! Wow, it's the gigantic shining tree, the same one we saw from the train! This is a bit of grape tea tree. I don't think the tree is the one that's shining. Check this out, Virgil. There are a ton of butterflies on it. You're right, the butterflies seem to be glowing. Those are blue moon butterflies. The butterflies give off a subtle moonlight. The light from these butterflies has the same power as actual moonlight. So that's why strange things always happen around these butterflies. Aren't they beautiful? A giant tea tree with butterflies glowing with moonlight? It's not just beautiful, it's an extremely fascinating sight to behold. Isn't this a pretty magnificent discovery? Did you know that those two are rare creatures? What? So what about it? The fact that these two are together is amazing. What about those two being together? They're usually raised together artificially to get moonflower and lucerine ore tube. 
It's uncommon for them to be together naturally like this. Um, anyway, we did find something, right? I guess so. I'll have to write a letter to the school later. Let's look around a bit more. Fill up the codex and all, right? Just don't be late. We must return to the train by tomorrow morning. Okay. Let's go back the way we came up. There may, might be some other strange things. Retrace my path. I don't think I'll get a wink of sleep on the train. I wonder if there's anywhere I can sleep for tonight. What about the ground? The dirt and rocks should make for a nice bed. That's not funny, Virgil. Look, the blue moon butterfly we saw at the peak is here too. You might as well collect some for study purposes. You think I could just sneak up and grab it? Wait, do you remember what Miss Gravier said? Death lives under the bed. No, not that. Draw it before you touch it. That's right. Encyclopedia and Quill. Press and hold to you the use quill button to draw once the gauge is full and the drawing is complete the subject of the drawing will be recorded in the encyclopedia approach it and use the quill to draw it in the encyclopedia okay you really don't have to you don't have to hold my hand i got it i did it Nice. A butterfly that emits a soft blue glow from absorbing sunlight or moonlight. It is sensitive to sound, but will not easily go away unless it feels especially threatened. Habitat and time of appearance. Tools used for collecting. Blooming butterfly. Yep, yep, yep. I got it. Great, it's registered in the catalog. Let's see. Now, do you see why you can't catch me right now? Because I, because I don't have a tool. You can collect them using a butterfly net. I don't have one right now. Not much you can do by now, then. But I want to do it right now. Getting to the witch's house is in Hylian is more important. Hmm. Let's go back down now. There's got to be something else that's fun. There's nothing else around here that we can get? Nope, it's locked. Man, they're really locking me to this tutorial, huh? That's to be expected, I suppose. I kind of love the cataloging part of this. That is kind of bringing me joy. It's not just a boulder. It's a rock. What's up? We're just not going to talk about those, huh? Nah, that's cool. Nah, that's cool, that's cool. Who would want to talk about the weird baby things, huh? Not me. Not me, I wouldn't want to talk about the weird baby things grabbing onto a stake in the ground. Not me, dude. I don't even notice him. In one ear and out the other. That's what I say about the weird baby things. Don't even notice them, Dad. Don't even notice them, Dad. I don't know if this is what I'm supposed to be doing, but it's what I'm doing. I'm ready to play the game. Where am I now? Oh, which is key? I don't have the right chalk. Rudy's got the chalk. Any chalk zone peeps out there? Anybody remember chalk zone? Rudy's got the chalk, 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 got the chalk. Rudy's got the chalk. Oh, I see it. It auto overs to the other thing, but I still feel like I don't know what that is. Am 
I'm sure I'm collecting a lot of things that I don't know anything about. I guess we'll learn eventually. Oh, wow! Ellie, let's go back to the train. Look at that, Virgil. A shining white cat. I've never seen anything like that before. Ellie, we have to go after that creature! I mean, I agree. I really want to, I want to, I want to be in that cat's life forever. I want that cat to be my friend for as long as I live. Rudy's got the chalk, 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 got the chalk. Rudy's got the chalk. Come here, kitty. kitty. Hello, kitty. kitty. Interesting. Okay. So I have to complete the pattern. Ooh, -hoo -hoo -hoo. this is very fun and spooky and Halloween. Look at that. That's a jack-o'-lantern. Just like, just like I got, just like I got right here. I got that. Look, Virgil, there's a house. That's a witch's house, isn't it? It looks pretty old. I guess we can talk to the master witch here and stay here for a while. It doesn't look like there are people inside. There's no one. I might stay for a while. Isn't it natural for an apprentice witch to be at the witch's house? That's true, but... Anyone there? Is anybody there? Seems like nobody's here. It could be an abandoned witch's house. Because the witch administration can't figure out everything. Alright, let's go inside. Oh, it really is an abandoned witch's house. Taking that into consideration, it looks okay. Although it's not that clean. Since the witch's house is managed on her own, it doesn't seem to be in a very good condition considering how dirty it is. But the bed looks fine. I guess I can just sleep here. Um, well, since the witch's house is a public institution, it's okay to sleep one night or so. And it's better than sleeping outside. Neato. We'll just sleep for one day. Who cares? I want to get to the tutorial because I want to make this my life forever. What's the cat's face doing? What's with that face? You slept on a nice fluffy bed. Yes, but I dreamt that I was sleeping on the train. All that effort not to sleep on the train, only to dream of just that. You should have just slept on the train. No, that's not it. I slept very well, actually. I can almost hear the sound of the train, though. Wait, isn't that actually the sound of the train? What? Really? Is it taking off already? Let's hurry! It really is the sound of the train. I think it's about to take off. Let's hurry back. I woke up just in time. Glad I didn't sleep in. Uh -oh. I guess I don't remember how to get out of here. Huh? Where's the train? <laughs> Looks like that bird was imitating train sounds. But where's the train? It probably went to Hylian. Then what do we do now? Let's look around the area. I'm sure we'll find some clues. Why are you so calm? I've been through much worse with your mom. What? Weird comment. I like the train bird. Bye, train bird! What is that thing? It's called the Gaga Bird. They say it's a bit insane. A little monster, really. Quiet, I don't want to hear it. It's your fault for oversleeping. Don't blame the Gaga Bird. Fine, whatever. Just be quiet. What is this? A letter. How nice of them to leave a letter behind. Let's see. I think it's from the bartender on the train. I like her little glasses. That's cute. You're probably shocked to see the train is gone. A witch suddenly appeared in the middle of the night and got rid of the prickly vines. They said they can't wait because the train was already delayed, so we had to leave. But don't worry, the train will come back and there's a village nearby where I used to live. You can just spend some time there. There should be a sign in the forest, so just take a look and go find the village. When you arrive at the village, please give a neat and ardent my, re my regards. Bartender. He said there's a village, Virgil. Are you even a little upset that we missed the train, Ellie? There's a village nearby. But I can't imagine where it would be. We explored the area quite a lot yesterday. It was probably too dark to see. Let's look for it again. See if there's a sign as well. How about cleaning the witch's house? I might have to stay there until we find the village. Okay. Please try not to sound so excited. We missed the train, remember? Right. You heard me right. Well then, I might as well add more to the encyclopedia now. Is there more to see around here? 
Yeah, I'm real into this. Yep, I am real into this. I could play this for hours and hours and hours. This is a game I could play a lot of. Beep, boop, boop, bop. Beep, boop, boop, bop, bop. Bunny. I love the bunnies. Oh, sign. Villages to the right. Yep. Yep. Oh, I love this. The town lies to the east of here. I guess people do live around here. All right, let's head east. But it seems to be blocked by something over there. That's true. It's little honey pumpkin. Let's go take a look first. How am I ever going to get through? Boink. I don't know if I'm supposed to be picking all these things, but I just desperately want to. Let's get rid of the weed first. There's too much. It would take forever to pull all this out with using hands. Take a look at the bin over there. It might have a potion to get rid of the weed. What bin is that? There's nothing here. We'll have to use another tool. Is there another tool? Yes, there's a wonderful tool. What's that? Your hands. Ah. Uh. I don't honestly see any weeds. Well, I hope that folks are hanging out with us. Hanging out in the background. All I see is dust and cobwebs that we have to clean up. Exactly! Let's find something useful while cleaning. It's a bookshelf. Technically, it's a bookshelf that the witch was using. It's the same as a witch's bookshelf. I'm not going to read a book, though. I'm tired of books. A poisonous mushroom is better than a witch who doesn't read books. What does that mean? Because a poisonous mushroom kills just one person. Stop nagging. I've read enough books at school. Hmm, witch history. The Twelve Plants. Fun book of plants. Gardening for witches. There are so many books on plants. I guess a witch who used to research plants was living here. I should store any books I get in here. Really messed up the house. It reminds me of your room. My room is cleaner than this. That must be so from a dust standpoint. There's a lot of talking. Oh, it's a notebook. Might be useful later. All done cleaning. It's also messy in front of the desk over there, Ellie. Stop bossing me around like a teacher. I finally managed to get out of school. There's some dust over there, Ellie. Don't leave food behind, Ellie. I told you not to go inside the principal's office, Ellie. You should have listened. Oh, this is a witch elevator. That's why you should that's why you have to listen to teachers. Let's hurry up and go down. What if there's a scary monster? You think so? I'm so excited. Cozy mode. Cozy mode engaging, folks. Cozy mode, engage. Wow, look at this, Virgil. Must be a dispensary. We should definitely do some cleaning. Wow, cleaning again. I know what this is. It's an extractor. We used it so many times at school. It was a slightly smaller one, though. It would be It would be odd to use. Look at the glass bottle underneath. Oh, that's true. It's broken. I'll need a friendly toad at least. I'll need to get a glass bottle first in order to use this. You need to at least fix the extractor to make to make potions. All right, let's get to the village first. Let's look for one. This box looks pretty useful. I can put stuff in here and my pockets are full. Why can't I put it in? 
storage. Why not? Oh. No, oh, man, it really is just a Stardew, isn't it? No, oh, I'm so into it. A roaster. I hate this thing. You have to put in the ingredients and just wait. It's awful. Can't you simply put them in and do something else while you're waiting? It seems to be in bad condition, however. Really? Oh, yes. There's no handle for winding the spring. Where would I get a roaster handle? I don't need the roaster since it is not needed for the basic recipes. And there should be something when you get to the village. Oh, yeah, the village comes first. By the way, there's nothing normal around here. It would be rather strange to be normal when it's dirty like this. I'm going to turn on some music. Is there no music in the background of this game? Or am I crazy? Spoofy. I can't just sit in the silence. Wow, this is a pretty good cauldron. I think it was made by the Blue Lightning Workshop. Its style is very traditional. I've only ever used the cheap cauldrons at school. Finally, I get to use a good one. Of, of course. Expertly processed ingredients, the perfect heat intensity, and the right ladling technique. And at last, at last you'll end up with a proper potion. Ingredients, fire setting, and ladle direction. Carefully review them. I actually like Teacher Olivia. Still, the cauldron looks fine. You'll be able to make a potion if you have the ingredients. The machine tools are in bad condition, though. Since there are some discarded ingredients, let's make the potion we need using those items for now. Spilled bottle, scribble paper in a book. What a mess. Just brush off the dust. Just brushing off the dust might take a lifetime. What's this? Lunar's oil. Looks like a recipe for a potion. I guess it was used by the witch who was here. It reads a potion with the power of moon. The ingredients are moonflower and phoenix feather. Only very expensive materials are used. I'll use it someday. Let's have it ready for now. There's also something underneath. Where? Oh, you're right. I don't know what kind of text this is. You learned it at school. It's the ancient witch language. You mean I learned how to read these strange symbols? Your school wasn't bad either. I don't remember anything. Shall we take a look anyway? Um, looks like a recipe. Seems like moon something. I have no idea. I got a headache. Take a look if you remember later. Yeah, I should put it away and revisit it later. The, this desk would be nice to use as a workbench later. There's no use for it now. Finish cleaning. Seems like something dropped on the floor. Do I need to sweep the floor too? Weed Terminator Potion. Just made another job interview. Today is looking really good for me. I'd say so. Okay. Easy. Recipe is shown in detail on the page to the right. <sighs> Ingredients required to craft this liquid potion are here. Squishy tub fur extract and witch flower extract. Ingredients refer to processed collectibles obtained from animals and plants. Use the view ingredient information weapon to view its unprocessed collectibles form and its collection targets. You can view collectibles on the left and collection targets on the right. Okay. The crafting order is shown on the right. Put two squishy shovel in an extractor. Squeeze the juice. Juice. Squeeze the juice. Set fire to stage four. Stir the later ladle. Don't stir. Pour in the right vessel. Our windows are open because it's a beautiful day. The lawn guys came and one of the machines must have been blowing out a ton of exhaust, which got into the house and set off the fire alarm at nap time. No. Oh my goodness. What a nightmare. I'm so sorry, Zando. This is such a relief. I got really depressed over the weekend. I was worried that I would not be able to feed my guinea pigs, but now I have a better outlook. I think everything is going to be okay. Thanks for the support. Of course, of course, of course, everything works out in the end. But it is tough. It's hard days. You gotta acknowledge those hard days. Okay. So, witch's pot. What? Stop! Stop taking control. The items you pick while cleaning are ingredients. Uh, yes. Witch flower and squishy job. Please, I beg of you to stop taking over. Select ingredient. 
Press and hold. Weed Terminator! Made worse by the fact that I was also trying to nap and had just drifted off. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry that happened. That sucks. Potions up and down, X to use. Okay, cool. I'd really like to just play the game, actually. Overwatch 2 presumably launches in 10 minutes, so there's that, I guess. Yeah, I'm down to, I'm down to give it a shot. I'll queue it up, play for an hour. You can now save and load. You can now take naps. You cannot take naps at night. You can only take a nap once a day. Okay. <laughs> You're in the queue right now? Oh no, maybe I won't be playing. That's funny. Aim. Go remove the nucleus. Remove the nucleus. Yay, we did it. Huh, this isn't a village. Look over there, Ellie. It's a prickly vine this time. It's so huge and thick. Oh no, what do I do with the extractor? First, take a look around here. Arya? Hello, do you live in this town? Nature is so beautiful. What? Aren't the trees beautiful? Their green leaves are so pretty. Oh, sure. Nature is so breathtaking. You must love nature. How can you not? Okay, I'll be back. Walk into the blue sky. She must really love nature. So much that she can't have a conversation. You should respect her interests. I think it's more of an obsession. Something didn't feel right. You think she's cursed or something? A curse doesn't allow her to talk about anything except nature? The curse of a nature lover? That doesn't make sense. There are lots of quirky witches out there. The curse lifting candy that can lift the curse should be a basic recipe, but we can't use the machining tool now. It, I must process what's been collected to make potions. What should I do? You picked up several ingredients at the workplace earlier, didn't you? Those will be enough to make curse lifting candy. And did you see what's next to her right over there? Next to her what? It's a glass bottle that'll be perfect for the glass extractor bottle. Where? Whoa, you weren't kidding. I assume once the server is officially open, you should be able to jump right in. We'll try it. We'll give it a shot. All right, now let's make curse lifting candy to lift the curse and to receive that glass bottle as a reward. That would be nice. First, let's check on the candy that can lift the curse in the book. Okay. What? Oh, it's something I can make on hand? Curse lifting candy. Squishy jump fur extract maple herb extract. Yes. Where can I go now? I've done it! I've done it! I've looked at it! What do you mean? What are you talking about? What do you mean I've done it? I've done the thing. Let me go. I see it. I see the vine! What am I doing wrong? I don't understand. It won't let me go back. Am I being a dummy? I can't, I, I can't. What am I doing? <laughs> what am I doing wrong? Do I need to look at the vine? I guess I need to look at the vine. Maybe that's what it is. Okay, yeah, well, big, wow. Okay, let's do something else. Wow, these are so big. Okay, wow, let's do something else. All right. Please, let me go do the thing that you asked me to do. No more invisible walls, please. Don't block me in. Yeah, H-Man, I think we're gonna try to queue up. We'll see. <laughs> I'm, I'm not optimistic. But you never know. You never know. Oh, what was, what was the ingredients list again? 
Squishy Chub Fur Extract Maple Herb Extract. The exact things I have. What are the odds? Wait, do I need to look at the, the strength? Stage three, do not stir. Pop. They're playing already? Eating the candy. I thought it was supposed to launch till three. That's not exactly true, Zando, because you definitely did once with me and with pineapple. Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna need to know more about that. That's pumpkin terrier, obviously. Who didn't know it was a pumpkin terrier? Curse lifting candy. Would you like to try this? May the blessings of nature be with you. Hello? Yes, hello. Am I speaking properly now? Yes, I think so. Wow, thank you so much. Check with nature. I guess it really was a curse. I would tell that old man something, and I certainly couldn't ignore such a well-made image of a monkey. After I bought it, I could only talk about praising nature. I tried to speak backwards, right, but I could only praise nature. Pure torture. I hope nature just rots and dies. Still, I'm glad it was the curse that was easily removed. Oh, thank you so much. My name is Arya. How long has it been since I said my name? My name is Ellie. I'm an apprentice witch. Oh, did you come to this town to be an apprentice? Honestly, game release days are the worst for solely multiplayer games. Yeah. I was on a train, but I got off for a moment and it left without me. Oh, dear. I was about to enter the town, but it's blocked off by some prickly vines. Nature. Thankfully, we found an empty witch's house nearby, and I've been staying there. An empty... Oh, yes. There's a witch's house here. That's good. I have business in the village, too, but the vines stopped me. Curse nature. I'll be here for a while. Let me know if you need anything. Oh, then can I ask you a favor? Not a favor, but a fair price. What do you need? The tools were broken, and I was trying to reach the dispensary at the witch's house. Do you have any tools or parts? What kind of tools or parts do you need? I need a glass bottle. Wait a minute. I'll look for them. Sure. But Ellie, do you have any money? I do. Mom gave me pocket money when I came out. You think you'll be able to buy witches' tools with just enough pocket money to buy a snack or two? Eh, is that so? What if I don't have enough money? Since you have tools, you make, make and sell potions or something. You can also sell candies now. Only if there are people to buy them. I found it. Take this. How much is this? Never mind. This is return for breaking the curse. Oh, thank you. Unfortunately, I don't have any roaster handle for the roaster. I see. Will you be staying in the village? If so, I'll bring it next time. I'll sell it at a proper price then, however. Good. Please bring it then. Okay, I'll write roaster handle on the memo. Oh, and take this too. Healing candy. I get hurt? I get hurt in this game? Okay. Yep, 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 yep. This game's got a lot of talking. I'm about to go get in the queue. Just gotta save. Let's go wait in line. I'll drag it up here to this. This one. Or maybe not, it's gotta update. I, I thought I pre-uploaded. How did the pumpkin carving go? Look, look behind me. It looks great. It looks great and definitely normal and normal and great. What is the point of doing a pre-update? It was not easy to carve. No, it was quite challenging. Oh, there we go. It's updating. Launching. Oh no! Oh, never mind. I was reading something improperly. Oh, good news, guys. Zero players ahead of me. Easy peasy. No players, right? This is surely correct. C 
Couldn't just be that it's a mistake, right? Couldn't be that it's a mistake. It's that it's that there are actually no no players in front of me. Right? Oh, there we go. Hang on. There's something. Forty thousand players. That's not too many. That's not too bad. We'll get in soon. That's not too bad, you know. It's just forty thousand people. I'm sure they'll get paired up quickly, you know. They'll get paired up in no time. I'll get queued right in. Easy to peasy. -de. We'll definitely get in in an hour. Gotcha while we wait. Come on, Yukes. Show this got chop on what you made of. If Blizzard doesn't have the server space. Another Dragon Ball for you, Zando. This is the three-star Dragon Ball. Three stars. Team three-star. Another Gachapon from H-Man. You got it. Gachapon. Joyous day, more beans. Right or left, H-Man. Don't like either one of you. Don't like either one of you. Left it is. All right, I think this is the Band-Aid one. It's the red one. Oh, man. Oh. How do they make it taste burnt? God. Oh, it's so nasty. Ah, it doesn't leave. <laughs> ah, blech. Candy, anything. Ah, tastes just like gunpowder. I mean, how do they recreate <laughs> the taste of gunpowder? Oh my god. Mm mm. Mm 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 mm. The smell. The smell of gunpowder is what it tastes like. Mm mm. Guys, I don't know if we're getting in. I don't know if we're getting in. Zando, you had me curious. So I went to go check. And, um... I have, they're not all ETBs. Some of them are like the lunch boxes or the specialty sets, but I have 10 that are almost all full. Too many. Got a big box of cards yesterday from a streamer I've been watching. I think that was who you, did you post them in the in the chat on Discord the other day? Hey, oh, 30,000 players. Come on. Come on, 10,000 in, in five minutes? We got this, baby. We got this, dude. We got it. I sent you a message about them. That's what it was. Are they kicking people off? I have no idea. Maybe people are logging out or maybe they're just processing so many at a time. 
You're down to 20k? Wow, dude! I thought you were 20k a while ago, though. It just released, just, not even just today, it released just now. It released right now. Three o'clock Eastern. I have two minutes before EG plays again. Who is EG? Maybe I can watch both. Are you seeing another, are you seeing another streamer, H man? Evil Genius says, ah, 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 it is worlds, isn't it? Well, I can go ahead and tell you that we are not going to be queued in two minutes, so. I understand if you don't want to watch me eat airheads. But I do appreciate everybody that is hanging out. We have any jokes? Anybody have any jokes? Any family-friendly jokes? Clean jokes to say? You can hang. Your mom. I mean, technically family. Family friendly family. Not, not, who's there? Who's there, Zando? I eat my poo. Ha! <laughs> I don't. It's not true. Unless they put it in a bean flavor. I was so old she DJed for the Boston Tea Party. Because it's a party. I actually haven't watched it yet. Do you guys want to watch it? I still have, I have yet to see it. Wakanda forever. Trailer is straight fire. We're watching Entertainment Tonight's version of it for some reason. Oh. That's the one I wanted. Okay. Wakanda Forever trailer two. Oh, I need to be I need to be a bit lighter, don't I? Wait, hang on. Spoofy's still playing. No, it's not. No sound? Or is it super quiet? Yeah, I think it's just super quiet. I'm gonna turn it, I'm gonna turn the volume all the way up. Just don't let me forget to turn the volume back down when I turn back on our lo-fi. Only the most broken people. Can be great leaders. These people do not call him general or king. They called him Kukul Khan, the Feather Serpent God, killing him. We'll risk eternal war. He's coming for the surface world. We know what, up, what you whisper. Just in time for Wakanda forever! We've lost the protector. What up, what's up, what's up, trailer? Is our time. Have you seen the trailer yet? We're watching it right now. Show them who we are.
Boom, panther suit. Is there a post credits? Is there an is there an end credit sequence in this in this movie trailer? No, just entertainment tonight. Well, what is up, Raiders? The power of friendship. How are we doing? What's up, folks? Welcome in. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for the raid, everybody. Thank you for the raid from Extreme Ninja. Bring the heat. How we doing? Thank you for the follow. It's Miss Lexi. Appreciate you. Appreciate everybody raiding in and joining in on the fun here. We've had a great stream today. We're still going for a little bit longer. We'll see if we get if we get queued into Overwatch. I got 30,000 players ahead of me, so uh, no promises. But you never know. You never know. Maybe. Hey, thanks for the follow, Dom Voyage. Appreciate it. Welcome over. Play some Valorant or League? Never. I would play Valorant, but I'm never gonna play League ever. Never ever. Cause I gotta finish the tutorial and I don't feel like it. Hot take, I'm so done with Marvel right now. Zero hype in my heart right now. I was in first in line for Endgame, just done with the MCU. The TV shows have, ooh, thank you for reminding me. Spoofy, shh, spoofy. Quiet spoofy. Um, I don't disagree. I, I, I'm not a Marvel fanboy anyway. I'm not a huge Marvel fanboy anyway. So, I, I'm, I'm middle of the road, I always really have been. I'm a DC, I'm a DC kid. I grew up on DC comics. I really grew up on manga more than anything. Um, but if, I, if, if, if it was uh, US made, then I was definitely checking out. Overwatch Heroes, uh, Tier Maker, sure, I can do that. I can do that as we wait. As we wait, wait for this thing we're definitely not getting into. Thanks for the lurk, Lexi, Lexi appreciate you. Um, I think the TV shows have burnt people out. I've, I've said my hot take several times now on She-Hulk, and it is that I think that they have a good idea, a good premise, and a great cast, but they need a better writer. Specifically, I would recommend Mindy Kaling, uh, or perhaps uh, Mindy Kaling and Mike Schur working together on it. That'd be primo. If you can get Greg Daniels in there too and have those three, that'd be an all-star cast. That'd be an all-star writing cast. My mother's never written a TV show as far as I know ye. If she has, then I'm very upset about the fact that she never introduced me to any of the celebrities, given how much I would just love to meet any 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 layer of celebrity I'd be excited to meet. So I'd be very offended, to say the least. But yeah, welcome in, Exia Ninja. I feel ya. I hear ya. Wakanda forever looks pretty good. I like the suit. Did my first full stream in like two weeks, and now I'm totally fried. I have a great stream. I'm going to TTYL, get out of this office, or I'm going to barf. Go get some rest, Action Ninja. Thanks for the raid. Thanks for hopping in. Glad you're back streaming. I know, I think you've, you've been sick. You've had a lot of things back to back, um, but hopefully you'll be on the men's now and get back into things. We're glad you're back. Happy to have you back. And thanks to all of the, all the community. We appreciate you being here. Appreciate the raid. Know that whether you believe in God or not, whether you go to church or not, like church or not, you could hate the church for all I know. Um, I, I know plenty of people that do and probably for legitimate reasons. But regardless of any of that, we at Checkpoint Church believe three things to be one thing to one thing. We believe that three things to be true about every single one of you that joined the raid and everybody out there. Number one, we believe that God loves you. Number two, we love you. Number three, that you matter. You're a person of sacred worth. The world is a better place. Why? Because you are in it. There we go. That's how we close our stream. So you'll hear that again if you stick around with us. But if you were going to uh, to raid and then run. I totally hear you. I feel that you're not not the first one, we the last, right? Uh, but if they, if you do plan to do that, I want to make sure that you hear that from my mouth, no matter what. God loves you. We love you. You matter. Those are important things for you to know and to believe and to hear. Yes, 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 folks. We've been having a fun day. We made this pumpkin. We carved we carved this pumpkin today. Um, it is a polylisterine, poly polystyrene, polystyrene pumpkin, and we made the checkpoint logo in it. And uh, it, it looks okay. I did the best I could. I did what I could with the tools that I had. And then we played some Little Witch in the Woods. And now we are waiting in the queue for Overwatch 2, which we're not going to get into. But we're here. We're here and we're looking at it. We're, we're here and we're staring at the queue. Zando, are you still at 20, 2020K? Is that just how this song sounds or is it, is it duped? 
Anybody else hearing duped? Literally just dropped to 10K. Wow, Zando. Zando's nearly in, dude. Zando is nearly in, okay? He's practically playing the game at this point. So I wonder, you dropped to 20K and then I dropped to 30K. So does that mean I'm about to drop to 20? Overwatch 2Q, this is my content. This is hashtag content. Hashtag content. Oh, we need to do the tier maker, of course. Of course, of course, don't let me forget that. Let's do an Overwatch tier maker, huh? All the heroes that I don't remember the names of anymore. I'm gonna pull up a wiki. This makes a lot of sense why everyone I see is streaming slash playing Overwatch right now. I had no idea. Yeah, today is the day. This minute is the minute. It literally just dropped. Just dropped. Okay. Let's see if we can get this going. This should should maybe work. Maybe work. Point. Eh. Eh. Let's see if this one looks any better. Nope, wrong one. Yeah, that looks way better. Okay, cool. We're going to use that one. Oh, wait, we don't need this. There we go. All right, Tear Maker, enjoy the ads for Heinz 57. When you're here, your family. Ad break. Oh, no, Lexi. That's no good. There are Overwatch 2 heroes mixed into. Feel free to ignore. Isn't there just one? Is there? Have they announced more than one Overwatch 2 hero? Okay. Let me pull up the list now so that I can remember who I need to play as. Orisa is obviously my girl, S tier. Uh, let's see. Who else do I think is S tier? Hmm. So I've told you guys the story about Sigma before that I think that he is also from my... I think he is... Someone was a fan of Zero Escape and made Sigma, so I'm gonna put him up to S tier. Bastion's like a puppy dog, S tier. Um, who else are my S tiers? Oh man. We might keep that at S tier. That might be our S tier right there. We'll see if anybody else comes to mind as I, as I learn about them or as I read through about them. Um, let's see, who else do we have? I'll just go down the list. We'll go with tanks first. So D.Va. D.Va is crazy popular, right? I mean, totally with the memes. Everybody knows. Everybody knows D.Va. But almost a little overhyped. Can we agree? Overwatched. A little overhyped, you know? Um, D.Va's fine. I like that she's a pop idol. I like that she's a pop sensation. I get it. I get the hype. I understand it. But I think that, in, in all honesty, pretty mid. Pretty mid. Pretty mid. Uh, next up is Doomfist. I really wanted to like Doomfist because I thought Doomfist would be a fun character to play as, but I tried playing as him and I just lost every time so bad and it made me sad. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna give him a C right there. Doomfist was too hard to play. Too hard to play. Junker Queen is next on this list, but I don't see her here. Uh, Arisa, we already done. Ryan, Ryan's, Ryan's pretty mid as well. I think Ryan is cool. I'm, I'm excited to see him in Overwatch 2 because I think he's going to have more of a story. I think Ryan is actually a cooler character than he is uh, playable. Um, so we'll give him we'll give him a solid mid as well. Solid mid. Uh, who's next on the list here? Roadhog. Uh, Roadhog, it, I don't really... He's, he's very... He's very... What's it called? He's very... Uh, what's the name of the movie? It's the movie series. We were literally just talking about it today. With the Nomads. Kung Fu Carl mentioned it. Mad Max. Yes, he's very Mad Max. And that's fine. Does that wiki have Doomfist as a tank? It sure does. It sure does. This is the fandom. The Overwatch.fandom. Um, what was I saying? Roadhog is fine. Roadhog's fine. I mean, he's got the Mad Max vibe. He's got that hook. The hook's a real good, real good move if you can learn how to use it. We're going to give him a B. Mid. Uh, let's see. Winston. I actually really like Winston. He's fun. I like that he has glasses. He reminds me a little bit of Hank McCoy. A little bit of Beast. Isn't that his name Hank McCoy? I know his name is Hank. Is it McCoy? Am I putting McCoy in there? Is McCoy from something else? Hank. Hank, Hank, the, Hank the Beast. Hank the Beast X-Man himself. Um, I like him, but I don't love him. A tier. Definitely not mid. Uh, Wrecking Ball is a literal hamster, so for Yeet, we're giving him S tier. He's a hamster. He's adorable. 
He's too cute. He's too cute to give any other tier, okay? He's too cute. All right. Next one down. We're starting the damage tier now. Ash. Ash is first up. Um, I actually don't have Overwatch up anymore, so I can't see where I'm at. 20,000 players ahead of me. Okay, Ash is up next. I know nothing about Ash. Sell me on Ash. Anybody who wants to sell me on Ash, let me know. Why should Ash be anywhere good? Uh, next up on the list here is Cassidy. Uh, Cassidy had to change his character, obviously, um, for reasons relating to unfortunate circumstances and blizzards behind the scenes. Um, and he's fine. He's a cowboy. He's a cowboy. She's, a, she's the sniper version of Cassidy. Honestly, I think she she's probably cooler than him, but they're both still pretty mid. I'm gonna give I'm gonna give them, I'm gonna go yep beef. There we go. Uh, next up is Echo. Echo, I really like the design of, but I've never learned how to play as her. But I think that she's cool. Her little like robot design is very fun to look at. Um, I think it's inspired. I'm gonna go with that. She's an inspired design. Like her, like her look. I think she's fun. Get ready here. Next up is Hanzo. Hanzo's right here. Hanzo is the is the bow and arrow one. Like him a lot. Big fan of him. Wish I could use him better because I love his move set. I love watching people play as him. And obviously I love Samurai. Uh, we're gonna give him A tier. Genji. Genji is the sword and shuriken guy. Love ninjas. You really can't go wrong with ninjas with me. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna go to A tier. I bet I get in right at 3.30 when my daughter comes out of her room. Yep, bet. I'll take that. Junkrat and then May. Junkrat, don't care for him. Don't like him. I get it. Not my kind of character. Not my kind of trope. Not a fan. Uh, May. I like May. I like her videos. Uh, where is she? I like her. They're like a cartoon that they made. That was one of my favorites. Uh, yeah, I like her. Inspired. A. Farah. Uh, Farah's the missile one. <laughs> I really like playing as Farah. Where did she go? Where is she? Where is she? Is that her? Is that Farah? No, that's Symmetra. Where's Farah? I missed. There she is. Uh, Farah. I really like playing as her. Uh, the missiles, missile launcher, missile is just hilarious that they have a missile launcher character and she flies. And she has a jetpack. Inspired. A. Uh, Reaper. Reaper is emo. Reaper is on a T-shirt in Spencer's gifts. B tier. Uh, honestly, I, I would be tempted to bump him down to C. Soldier 76, ooh, not inspired. Same kind of situation, but he does kind of remind me a little bit of Godot from Ace Attorney, and that makes me a little happy. I might honestly give him a D tier because I think he's so uninspired and stereotypical, but he kind of has to be because he's like the main, like, you know, you know, main, uh, uh, whatever, hero. Um, we're gonna give him, we're gonna give him C tier. Uh, next up is Sojourn, who I believe is this one. I don't know anything about Sojourn. Don't know anything, like their design, like the hair, don't know their story. Since I don't know anything about them, I'm gonna give them mid. Next up is Sombra. Uh, she's the one, I think I really liked her cartoon. I really liked her cartoon, so I'm gonna give her an A. If I liked their cartoon, <laughs> then odds are I give them an A. Symmetra, I don't know who that is. Gotta be real with you. Don't, I don't even, I don't even, in the words of Thanos, I don't even know who you are. Be dear. Uh, Torbjorn, here's my issue with Torbjorn. I want to put Torbjorn up high because I know that uh, out of sense used to really like playing as Torb. Was a fan of Torb, and I want to I want to praise Torb for that reason because out of sense is, is my bestie. But I also hate Torbjorn. Can't stand him. Gets on my nerves. Drives me real crazy. So I'm tempted to bump him down a little lower. Uh, but I think I think just the the perfect balance of the situation there is going to put him at a solid mid. I'll admit. Tracer. Uh, Tracer is a time traveler, yeah? That's pretty cool. She's also like the epitome of Overwatch. She's like their flagship, you know, character. I'm gonna give her A tier. Widowmaker. Love a sniper. Love her design. Love her character. Love her backstory. Great stuff. Honestly, I'd be tempted to put her up to S if anybody tried to convince me. All right, time for the supports. Anna. I like that Anna is a sniper that heals. I think she's super inspired and interesting. A tier. Uh, Baptiste. I do not know Baptiste. I do not know. I don't know Baptiste at all. Bridget is the one that is basically Reinhardt, but uh, slightly support healer. Uh, I think uh, fine, mid. Lucio, I really like. 
I'm a fan. I'm a fan of Lucio. He was fun. Turn up the music stuff. Like, turn up the jam, whatever he says. He was cool. Is Torb's daughter? Oh, that's very nice. Well, I like that. Uh, let's see. I like Lucio, but I don't know if I like him quite enough to put him on A tier. I guess he'll be mid. I'm tempted to take him to A, but I'm gonna, I, I've got too many people in A. I can't stack my A tier that much. Uh, Mercy, Mercy's pretty, Mercy's pretty, uh, overhyped, you know? Mercy's kind of the every, every hero, you know? But she is like the healer, you know? Mid, mid. Uh, I don't know Moira, but I cannot stand Moira's design, D. Don't know who this is. Never seen this person before. Not on my list. Zarya, how did I miss people? Zarya, Zarya's a tank. Um, Zarya's the Russian. I don't really like playing as them at all, but I like the pink hair. I'm a fan of the color pink. Pink and purple are like my two favorite colors. I'm gonna I'm gonna say mid just for that reason alone. Zenyatta's pretty inspired. I like the Buddhist monk style. I like his. I don't actually like his move set, but I like him as a character. Yeah, a tier. I don't I don't know anything about Baptiste, so I guess we're gonna put him in mid because I just don't know him, and I don't even know who this is. Did I miss a character somewhere along the line? Junker Queen. Junker Queen, sounds like Junkrat, D tier. There you go, there's my list. There's my list, chat's in the clap. Sumatra, I don't know who that is. So I put her in D tier. I actually, I think I quoted Thanos whenever I put her in this slot. I'm pretty sure that's exactly what happened. All right, I'll download this and drop it in the uh, I'll drop it in the Discord. If you guys want to participate, play along. I'm gonna bookmark bar it. Twenty thousand players ahead of me. And yeah, no, I don't think we're getting in. I don't think we're getting in because you've been sitting at five k for quite a while. Oh, four k. Once you got to the ten k, it started going much quicker. But three k, it's not quick enough. But we got we got 32 minutes. <laughs> if I look, if I get if I get queued at like 350, I'll play through one match, I guess, however long that takes. If it takes me a little past four. Share your screen in Discord and I can put that up. Yeah. That's definitely one way of making it happen. Folks, thanks for the XG Ninja folks that are hanging out with us and, and chilling. We're Checkpoint Church. Church for nerds, geeks, and gamers. We're streaming Mondays through uh, Thursdays and every other Friday. This Friday, we do have a stream. We have uh, the second episode of the Level 2 podcast. We're talking about video games and violence. Everybody's favorite topic. That's always a good time. Who doesn't love talking about that minefield of a conversation? Special guest, Jack Thompson. Is that who's playing right now? Is that what it sounds like? That's what it reminds you of? The vibe you're getting? In all honesty, this is the first time I've ever played from this playlist. And for all I know, all of these songs are like very DMCA-able. If it entails squishing spiders, I don't mind a bit of violence. I have no problem with violence in video games. We'll hear a little bit more of my opinion in the pod. No, he was famous for lawsuits against video game companies for violence back in the 90s. Oh. Well, there you go. In all seriousness, uh, you know, you joke about special guest Jack Thompson. I would love to have differing opinions on the podcast, but obviously it's a level two podcast. So this is really an opportunity to talk with level two people. But to have differing opinions, I think that's a great, a great place to start. I love I love a good podcast that pits uh, people that disagree. Not against each other, but in, in tandem with one another. I think that's excellent. That's good podcasting right there. 2K. Zando, you're moving too quick all of a sudden. We're not moving at all anymore, and you're just, you're booking it. Nine hundred! Zando! Zando's gonna be playing for hours before we get in. Oh man, it really starts cooking once you get there, huh? I wonder if people are like, man, I've been I've been waiting in this queue. I've been waiting in this queue for, for 30 minutes, dude. I'm backing out, bro. 
I'm gonna go drink my advanced GG and back out of this Overwatch 2 match. Bogus, dude. Four hundred Zando. Zando's gonna be playing in no time, dude. We will be streaming tomorrow morning at nine o'clock. We'll be lit, uh, watching our um, Cyberpunk Edge Runners sermon and talking about it. So if you want to engage in that conversation around Cyberpunk Edge Runners, feel free to join us tomorrow morning at nine o'clock Eastern. We're talking about that fun stuff. One of my favorites. I really, I think, I think Cyberpunk Edge Runners is going to be my um, is going to be my 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 anime of the year. We'll see. Entering the game, Zando. Oh no. Why did you dot, dot, dot? No. No, Zando. That can't be true. Zando. No. I need to know it isn't true. No. First the smoke alarm, and now an unexpected, unexpected arrow after waiting for so long. No. <laughs> Zando! I'm so sorry! Oh my goodness. That was at least 40 minutes. Yeah, I've been waiting for 33 minutes on the dot. Oh no. Spam some Bible thumps in the chat for our poor friend Zando. Oh no. <laughs> Dude, that's such a nightmare. Ugh. Oh. That's day one of a multiplayer game, though. It hasn't kicked me out yet. That's good. It's just going to bump you back up to the 40k. Bad bot. Bonk it. Oh, savage, man. Well, I'm still just sitting here at 20k. I've not even gone to the 10k mark. Xander, can I give you a free movie movie game to make you feel better? To make it up to you? Will you accept that as a gift from me? Always? Alright, let me, let me pull one out. Movie movie game combines two movie titles. I'm gifting Xando one free of redemption. Purely because I feel so bad. Oh, nice. This is a good one, yeah. Okay. mm mm, -mm, -mm. Snarky, <laughs> well, maybe maybe close your daughter's ears. <laughs> I guess not. This isn't that bad of a word. Uh, snarky teen impregnated by a dorky teen gives baby up for adoption. An aforementioned baby becomes a child who divorces his parents and travels the world looking for the perfect mom and dad replacements. The second movie is definitely more obscure than the first. Snarky teen impregnated by a dorky teen gives baby up for adoption and aforementioned baby becomes a child who divorces his parents and travels the world looking for the perfect mom and dad replacements. Your daughter asked, what's a Zando? Are you telling me that your wife doesn't call you Zando at the house? Is that what I'm understanding right now? I don't believe it. Are you saying on your wedding day, your wife didn't stand in front of you and say, I take you, Zando. She does not. <laughs> Change the game title. That's a good point, Sneaky. I'm shocked. I'm shocked. I am stunned. I am offended. Can't think of the second movie. It's definitely obscure. Baby boy, Elijah Wood is the hint. I don't know how familiar you are with Elijah Wood's early filmography. <laughs> I told him, Zan I told Helen that Zando is what some people call me and now she keeps calling me Zando. That totally sounds like something my daughter would do. Oh my goodness, that's the funniest thing.
That is great. Jew North. It is Jew North. Juno. Juno and North. Jew North. I have never seen North. I have no idea. That's the thing that I'm noticing about these cards, in fact, is that there are a lot of movies that I've not seen. So you saying Azando hey, laughing. That's because it's hilarious. Good job, Helen. It is as funny as you think it is. Nine thousand players. You guys, I'm practically in. I'm definitely not gonna get an error at zero players. Definitely not. That wouldn't happen to me. That only happens to Zandos. Searching for game server, game server connection failed, retrying. Interesting. It's very possible that's what's gonna happen after all this waiting. Let's go to Legook. Let's see what the let's see what the trending thing that's happening right now is. We're aware that some players are encountering an unexpected server error when attempting to sign in. This is actively being worked on. Thank you for your patience. Let's see. Are the servers down? They are live. Let's check their Twitter account. Nothing on Twitter.
Although I wouldn't have known, because as I understand it, Asia's in the kitchen. So I wouldn't have known if you would have been the cook in the family or not. I played on PS4 for a long time before I got my PC, and then I also got on Xbox to play with a friend. Now, I only ever played with the one group of friends that would play with me on PC. And that was it. That was the... You have to imagine, I didn't even have an Xbox, nor did I have a PlayStation. I, I got a PlayStation 4, like, two years ago. Asia's like, thanks so much. Little does she know it was for selfish reasons because I was just hungry and impatient. <laughs> well, it's always good. I love cooking. I think cooking is one of my favorite things. Today we've made barbecue. I've got a crock pot barbecue going right now. It's actually, it's called Zesty Barbecue. 2K players, by the way. Zesty Barbecue. It's barbecue sauce and Olive Garden Italian dressing. Isn't that weird? Then you add in some brown sugar. You add in a little Worcestershire. And then you add in uh, a little salt, a little pepper. Put that in the crock pot all day, baby. Put it with some chicken. You come back, you shred that bad boy up. Mix in just enough sauce to get it saucy as you'd like. Boom. Zesty barbecue. It's very good. Very good. A little sweet, a little sweeter than some people might like it. Love me a crock pot meal. Crock pot is amazing. The crock pot, the instant pot, all of those, all of the, uh, all the meals that require a specialty utensil are a blast. This is where things started ramping up for you, Zando, so I'm hopeful. I have hope that Overwatch 2. All right, I'm out. Kids are getting impatient. Oh, no. Oh, I'm so sorry, Zando. You'll get to play soon, I'm sure. Good luck. I hope you get to play. We'll see. We'll find out. I am not, not counting on it. on it. 800 players. Holy moly. It's trucking, boy. 800 players ahead of you. Oh, man. Who knows? 600 players. Let's see if we get the same error. My anybody anybody want to bet? I don't have it. Oh no, we don't have time to gamble, do we? We'll try. Let's try and manage a prediction. Oh, 200 players. Unexpected error. Oh man, yes, no. 30 seconds. Start prediction. Bet your channel points. Bet your channel points. Quick, quick, quick. We got a gamba up on the up in the chat. Oh man, oh man, oh man. <laughs> oh no, it's not gonna work. This might be a void gamba. You don't know yet, it's still Uh-oh. Zando, I'm so sorry. Time to take action. <laughs> Zando, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Zando, I'm so sorry, Zando! Get in there. Zando, I didn't mean for this to happen. Zando! Zando, I'm so, I'm so sorry! I didn't want this! I didn't want this! <laughs> Alright. I guess I'll play. Unranked? I guess I don't matter. Against other players of your skill level, are there any of those that exist? Uh, which one should I do? Just unranked? Quick play? Play any role? I want to play specifically Orisa. Can I pick by character? I guess I'll pick any role. Oh, wait, you said- we said- what's that? Uh-oh. It's too late. It's too late. Oh wait, to cancel. I've been waiting this whole time to get in here. Hang on, we'll go to arcade. Arcade, which one? Which one? 5v5? Since I'm one of the chosen ones. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Which one should I do? Push the bot farther. That sounds fun. Limited duel. No, I can't. I don't, I don't play as a dueler. All four. <laughs> I want to do the push map. That sounds fun. Let's see if anybody else wants to do a push map with me. This sounds fun. So far, it looks exactly the same. Only in unity, in flat strength. What was that? I don't remember that being one of my moves. Advancing. 
I have new moves? Fortifying. What? I didn't know they changed up moves at some stuff. Are you in distress? <laughs> you did, yeah. Shield launch is gone. Fascinating, dude. Nobody's playing arcade, Zando. What have I done? Systems repaired. Not Pretty good chunk of damage. Blocking. So it's just a shield for me. It's got to be, and it's so temporary. Very interesting. I'm the only person that got in. I'm in the PC pool. Did you see that? Who's the new character? Isn't there a new character? Battle pass. I don't got time for a battle pass. Only in unity will we find strength. Oh, game found. All righty. Push map. I don't know how to do this. I'm really not the person that should be here. Select your hero. Ooh. All right, Orisa. I see you. Go with Twilight. It's like one of the few skins that I've ever unlocked. Okay, what do I do? What do I do? What am I doing? I'm gonna follow. I'm gonna follow you. We got work to do. Escort. Gotta push my. Oh, I see. It's like it's like the reverse of uh, tug of war. Okay, off we go. Five, four, three, two, one. I'm gonna just follow Echo because I got no idea what's going on. Speed it up, everyone! Right on, Angel They're winning. They're pushing. You have to literally push it. You think? The world still needs defending. Man, Orisa's kit changed a lot. No grab, just the golden thing, the throw. Which I'm so bad at aiming that might honestly be a deal breaker.
Oh, we're actually pushing back a little bit. I will never rest. Right, aren't we blue team? The enemy, the enemy team, team has taken the lead. lead. I'm helping from this side. Did I get one of them? Uh oh, he's up. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know this map. I don't know this map! <laughs> I can't believe I got in though. I'm so sorry. I feel so guilty. I feel so guilty. The world still needs defending. The enemy's starting to move their barricade. We are at a disadvantage. But I thought we were pushing. I'm confused. Get in there, Bob. put like a little bongo down. I see now. They pushed it 89 meters. Yeah. That's how far they pushed it. I thought the robot was pushing ours towards it. It's like backwards from how I want it. Yeah, Sigma's got my number. Looks like Sigma's got my whole team number. Team he just did a TPK, dude. I will never rest. Yeah. Somebody's like, man, I waited an hour. I waited an hour just to be a part of this team. <laughs> sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. Oh, we're so close to losing, too. I wonder if that pulls players in and deals big damage. It looks like it like lifted us up and slammed us on the ground. Play of the game. No! Zando! Oh, look at that. That's very cool. 15 player kill streak, yeah. Toxicity is is not playing the game. That was fun though. All right, I'll do one more. I'll do one more. It'll must. I'd like to do a little better. But this is fun. I'll probably do more of this on Thursday. Maybe we'll do a little game together, a little impromptu, impromptu game together on Thursday. Now traveling to catch. Let's see if Bastion's changed. <laughs> So he doesn't have a turret anymore? He just turns into tank mode? Or is that because I'm moving? Am I disabling my turret? That's what it is. Yep, turret's still there. Oh, but it's a timed turret. Ooh! Oh, that changes everything. Cool. Nerf Bastion. They did it. They nerfed Bastion. They did the song. Game found. All right, I'll do one game. One more game. One game more. Traveling to 
and then we'll call it a day. Girl. My girl. Let's see if we do any better this time. I guess I could be Bastion. Ooh, somebody's a Sigma. Okay. See, I wonder if Sigma's like the new meta or whatever. I wonder if people are, are playing as him. Curiouser and curiouser. How do I know if my watch point pack is active? Can someone tell me, please? I don't know. Really got to run now. I'll try again playing later. Maybe stream if I get a chance. I'll try my best to watch if you do, Zando. This must be the robot of which Akande speaks so highly. Such ingenious design. Tell him to deliver his compliments in person. A second too late. <laughs> I must do better. We cannot let them take the robot. Death in my wake. my team. I really think Sigma is the difference maker. my move does. I think it lays down Time like a, a, a circle of pain. I just gotta get there. We cannot lose our lead. Get ready for a shot. Yeah, I can't 
exactly what I was going to do. I tried. Reevaluating, re-engaging. Enemy team is pushing forward. Get there. Stop that. I can't get away! I can't get away! I don't think I've seen Winston go down yet. Nah! <laughs> Damn it! We're, in, we're, in the, we're, we're losing! We're losing! Not Winston! Jumps away. Man, I'm worried a reset gonna work for me anymore. You don't have the ability to aim. Winston. I don't like Booger Juice. The enemy moves. We must stop them. Man, we held so strong. Failure is a chance to grow. Maybe I'll try Bastion. We gotta get it all the way back over. Time for a fight. Make me proud. Uh, booger juice again, dude. I can't do booger juice. Can't get him, dude. I must do better. How they already almost got it back? The robot. Dude, booger juice, man. Hey. 
Who is mighty enough to take down Booker 2? Nobody! He takes no damage. Bummer. Don't like Booger Juice. Not a fan. Not a fan of Booger Juice. Hey, Cad. All right, well, there's our game. We played some Overwatch. How about that? We finished two matches, lost both of them, but finished them. And we did the thing. Well, folks, maybe we'll play some of this for sure. I enjoyed myself. Happy to be playing the game. Happy to be in it to win it. Folks, we're Checkpoint Church, Church for Nerds, Geeks, and Gamers. Uh, if you want to play games with us like this, join our Discord, Expansion Point Discord. Uh, and I know plenty of our mods and our guardians who would love to play alongside you. So consider it. Enter into our Discord, Expansion Point Discord in the chat and play along with us. This has been a true variety stream. If there's ever been one, this is the variety stream to beat them all. Folks, literally three things to be true about every single one of you out there. We believe that number one, God loves you. Number two, we love you. Number three, you matter. You're a person of sacred worth. The world is a better place. Why? Because you are in it. Folks, with that, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. I look forward to hopefully seeing you tomorrow uh, for our nerdy sermon talk back at nine o'clock in the morning. We're going to go raid uh, uh, Bonsai Baby. Bonsai Baby's playing Grounded. We're going to go raid Bonsai Baby. Go spam some You Matters in their chat. Let them know that they matter. And until the next time that I see you, which is hopefully right now on the Discord or at the latest tomorrow morning for our Nerdy Sermon Talk back on Cyberpunk, I look forward to seeing you then. Folks, thanks for hanging out today. And this has been fun. We played three games today. That's pretty exciting, huh? All right. Until next time. Bye-bye.